The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interest at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Niggas in the street be talking to me about that. <laughs> <laughs> they check you? Yeah. And what's your response? I can't go get a little watermelon hookah without some nigga screaming from the opposite <laughs> side. Yo, you know you foul for them shorts, yo. Come on. Come on. I get it. But hey, if they calling me to the carpet, I'm calling y'all to the carpet too. Fuck y'all talking about? It's cool. Them fucking trophies. There's a lot of trophies left <laughs> from ice. Them fucking potatoes. Nigga, if I had them in another color, I'd wear them again. Right? Why, I, you, ain't, why you ain't buy them in another color? No, that wasn't. Mm. That one bought. Why you ain't get them in another color? Goodness, that's that's headphones. Probably, they probably in the mail. Listen, yeah. Ice looked like he got a good night's sleep on that yeah, new mattress. I'm not playing with Ice. No, I'm not getting with yeah. Ice today. Where's my headphones? I got headphones. Y'all don't fuck with me today? They're like on the floor. Right. Oh, shit. Y'all want me to go home again? Y'all always, <laughs> y'all always want me to go home. Oh, man. Fuck out of here. <sighs> All right. Thought we had a guest. Huh? Thought we had a guest. Today? Somebody got a nice black G-Wagon had my spot. <laughs> shit was fire. You seen it? Nah. You got a spot? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got spots. We got spots, huh? <laughs> okay. It's no bullshit, cool. man. It's got spots. <laughs> it's cool. That's black people's problem right there. What? What? The what? Entitlement? entitlement? What spots y'all got? We got parking spots. spots. We got parking spots. That's okay. like when the drug dealers say that it's they block, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. basically. All right, got it. Yeah. <laughs> I know Ice is spot. He right next to him. Yeah. All right, the listeners don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the, listeners, the listeners don't care about their fucking spots. How y'all doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. Great. I started this part a little ashy. But I was like, you know what? I'm not mad at that. I kind of like that sometimes as a man. Get that manual work feel. Mm-hmm. Here go Melissa. I have lotion if you like. <laughs> uh, so do I, Miss Honey. You're not the only baddie in town. I mean, I just figured you might have forgotten He got it. probably four you different did, lotions. Yeah, in why Melissa be playing that with me? different. Pierre Glossé and all that Yeah, why you play with me? You just, I, my bad <laughs> got it all. If you see me looking like this, it's by choice. And I get mad. I go out with my platonic homegirls and forget my, leave my bag at home thinking that they're going to have the girlies in their bag, like lotion and shit. Yo, you got lotion? I don't know. Is you fucking dirty mutt? <laughs> Dirty mutt hoe. <laughs> why, why y'all ain't got no? Why y'all ain't got the girly shit in your bag for real niggas? That's why you need your bag. But whatever. Mm-hmm. Listeners don't care. Pocketbook. Listeners don't care. It's fine. They don't. I think that's my title. Listen. Hear that, Tanner? <laughs> <laughs> listeners don't care. Yeah, listeners, listeners don't, don't care. care. They don't give a fuck. How y'all feeling, man? Is you got that two face off your hoodie? <laughs> like a big child at fifty don't know how to brush his teeth. <laughs> Missed his mouth. <laughs> how you, missed your tongue. <laughs> big ass kid. Like Why you so childish, yo? <laughs> he was in a rush. <laughs> he was in a rush. Nah, you know what's I, funny? I you know, spin around toothbrush. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? That, spin around toothbrush. That is one of them awkward moments for me as a man. Like when I bend over to brush my teeth and I'm finished. Because I be dressed. I'm stupid. I don't do it. You're supposed to do it. You're supposed to do it prior Before to. you dress, but oh, I don't yeah, do that. Yeah. Yeah. I get dressed and bend over, and now it's such an obstacle making sure that the water and the shit don't fall yeah. under your shirt. And then you can wash toothpaste like 17 times. That like shit is goof. not going to come out. It would not come off your clothes. That shit's like annoying. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. You hear that out there? Toothpaste Chronicles. <laughs> 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 Only here they on can, the JBP. They can relate. They can relate. Hey! Who y'all thought I was starting with? How huh? what they thought was going on? <laughs> Energy up when I'm in the building. Shout out to the ladies. Ow. Hey, that's right, Mel. <laughs> Big Mel in the building. <laughs> Fuck these niggas talking about. Hey. What song y'all think you're going to be disappointed when Usher doesn't perform? Confessions. Good kisser. I'll be mad if Let It Burn don't play. Fact. Little, Good kisser is not getting played. Good well, it might. Is not getting played. Let It, let it Burn won't get seconds. paid. It's too slow. Good kisser? That shit is Fire and it's up. You tempo. dying for a tongue I, kiss? <laughs> you lusty what makes as you hell, think that mama. I didn't get one you this lusty week. as oh, hell, oh, mama. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ain't nobody oh, swaps no. swap saliva with I you. Hey, ain't nobody swaps saliva with you. Oh, hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> you was out here tongue kissing this weekend. A friend hey, came in town. A oh. friend. Oh. Hey. You did it your way. <laughs> wow, the big mouth. Oh, shit. Hold up. In case y'all forgot who the fuck Big Mel was. A friend came in town in the rain. That mean the flight was delayed and everything. everything. They still you made it. <laughs> Yo, that, that nigga traveled. <laughs> wait, wait. Four, Yo, wait, 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 wait. What? Four rainy days in a Yo, row? Wait. You might be pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wait. this is privacy, mother nigga. You pre- four no. rainy days. Nah, you know what? But uh, now I'm closing the laptop we for a minute. Four I'm rainy closing the laptop for a minute. We'll get back to the intro in two seconds. days in a row, my nigga. You say whatever you I'm want. I'm on the same wavelength as Ish, only because <clears throat> look in the sky, man. It's up there. I know how it goes sometimes. Yeah. I know Ish does too. It rained for four days straight. Mm-hmm. Hard storms. Mm-hmm. Hurricane ish. Thunder, kind of weather yeah. report, amber alert on the phone. <laughs> like crazy shit going on. But somehow this thirsty ass nigga, <laughs> this thirst bucket ass nigga that listened to the pod, I'm sure, like a goof, waited at the airport, was there three hours early for the flight like a nerd. <laughs> Got snacks. <laughs> Went to the little bar. Yeah, by himself. Yeah. Probably was texting you from the airport. I made it safe. Just got through TSA. Hope they don't delay my flight. <laughs> Looking a little gloomy out. Had, had, a little dry, had a little suitcase on roller skates. <laughs> oh, man. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he probably, he probably had the people drive him through the shit. Through TSA. Flight was delayed. That bitch ass nigga waited there for hours and hours. I'm like, oh, Delta with another. He was talking to the agent. <laughs> <laughs> he was up there calling the shit an aircraft. When do you think the aircraft is <laughs> <laughs> will, will be taking off? Oh, man. Yo, why are we haters like that? So I want to support Mel. You flew man? I want to support Mel. No, I did not. Oh, it's got more. More questions besides are you pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I ask a question? Yes. Was that was that why you went to Philly? Oh, I didn't go. Oh. Yeah. Is that why you didn't go to Philly? That was my Well, no, the rain is because I why I didn't go to Philly. Wait, so this so had Philly nothing. was Philly had nothing she to rushed, do with this. But didn't you Wait, rushed, you laid up with this nigga in the rain? I mean yeah, yeah, nigga. isn't this the definition Bad. of Yo dog, weather? shitty food. Yeah, but good oh, no. movies. Oh no, good decent food. music. Y'all had a fire stick. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> y'all, she had, y'all, y'all loaded up the fire stick. Uh, according to her, she had a fire stick. All right, right, man. Yeah. Yeah. I think, all right, that's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 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 Oh my God. Mel, you laid up with some nigga in the rain listening to the beautiful sound. It's just the window rainy open. days yeah, outside. Music on. Do, 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 do. Such a lovely, it is such a lovely picture. Mel. You guys are painting. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God. I'm so overprotective. Bro. She, uh, rushed, she rushed out of here, uh, you know, last yeah, part of the show. I got to go. Did. I got a date. I got a date. We were talking shit to you. Oh my God. You didn't. Even respond to the nigga. You usually stop and respond. Yeah, you fuckers, leave me alone. <laughs> nah. You gotta say whatever we want. You gotta fuck. Like, I'm out. I got a date. Hey, she ain't forget the dog that day. No, she didn't. Nah, Come no, on, no. Daisy. Now nah, she did you know. actually. She you did. You guys are such haters. She did Holy the dog. shit. You had to come back and get the dog again. You, you drove no, Daisy home. No lies. No, not that day, I, Joe. Not I that did. day. I did oh, drop her off. You, you drove Daisy home. I, no. What? I said, come on, Daisy, let's go. She knew where to go. I saw her new friend over. And then I'm starting to pod. I know y'all hate when we grill Mel about her dating life, but that's why I hired a woman, partly. Oh. Old. <laughs> Makes sense. New friend, yeah. old friend. Old, old. Oh, oh, yeah. Could you possibly, could you possibly rewind that and come again? <laughs> <laughs> old friend in there, weather. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Yo, Mel, you something, already, something already is up, know Mel. what that is, hey. too? <laughs> right off the glass. No, no, no. Right off the glass. Look. Right there. <laughs> You ain't even got to do the with fill the, out. You ain't got to do the awkward fill out period with the new all, nigga. Nothing. None of that. This is when he left. When He's still there, nigga. Shut <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hey! Y'all know the vibes. Big Mel. Y'all forgot who she was. Go. What y'all the Hey! Say it, man. Super A. Yeah! Fresh out of King. Every magazine. 
<laughs> well, she ain't doing she that. Ain't my own <laughs> oh my God. All right, hope y'all feeling good out there, feeling great. We ready to rock. Microphone check. Fuck is going on out there. You know who it is. You know who we be. You know why we here. You know when we here. Fuck is going on out there. Salute, salute, salute to the real niggas out there. Shout out to the beautiful ladies out there. Shout out to the ugly women that are listening too. None of this is possible without either of you. Both <laughs> groups matter. Uh, shout out to the niggas getting money. Shout out to the broke niggas just trying to pass time, not doing nothing with their lives. Y'all matter too. Everybody matters here. Ying, yang, mm. balance, gang, gang. Duality. duality, balance. Yes, yes. Yep. yes. Salute to all <laughs> different groups and. Parties and conglomerates and subgroups, <laughs> idiots, geniuses, creators, corporate slaves, free thinkers, the fucking dirty, dusty sheep hanging around with wolves and savages attempting to blend in. Shout to everyone. Salute to you all. How is my amazing cast doing Jesus today? Christ. Doing well. Amazing. <laughs> A sheep. <clears throat> Fucking stupid ass <laughs> sheep. Oh <my> God. <laughs> fucking masking stupid, themselves. Yeah. You niggas look like y'all itch when I see y'all. What? None of the filters are helping. <laughs> you, nigga, you niggas look like you need to fuck the itchy and scratchy in one. <laughs> niggas look like y'all <laughs> use the seven in one body wash. You nasty you niggas. That fucking shiny hair won't save you, nigga. All right, what's up, man? Oh, man. <laughs> what's up? Stupid. Listen, now, I'll let the fans know there is threat. There is a potential threat of a docket lingering. Number two. <laughs> I don't think it's me. I don't think it's me, but I can go off at any point. Mm -hmm. But it might be someone else. We'll see how it goes as the broadcast progresses. Mm. I have been home all weekend watching The Dark Side of Comedy from Vice. Mm -hmm. I want to send my well wishes, warmth, and love out to all of you comedians out there. I thought the rappers were bad. Y'all are a depressed group self-medicating. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and yeah, it's nuts. Mm -hmm. But anyway, not to start dark. Mel's here, Flip is here, yep. Ish is here, Freeze is here, Parks is here, Poe is yep. here, Corey is here, Erickson is here, Ian is here, Keeb is here, Gang is all here. How's everybody doing, man? Talk to talk Great. to your beautiful fan bases. Fantastic. We will, we will. It's good. Who do you? Good. Yep. Good. You know that's you know that's the call. <laughs> they know it. Pass that dunk. That nigga's still in town. <laughs> What? And you try to trick us trying to come out dressed like a lady like you wasn't being unladylike this weekend. <laughs> what? Be, yeah, I, I know lady? how they do. I watch them get up and get dressed Monday morning, put on some fucking <laughs> little slacks and the turtle tied little black iron and shit. I'm like, oh my God. She has been swallowing cum for four <laughs> okay, days. Okay, uh, okay. Holy all right, now. I'm not talking shit. about Mel. Man, I'm not oh man. About Mel. <laughs> I'm just saying, you be proud as a nigga that just fucked the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, look at her go. <laughs> Still being productive after I destroyed her. Executive VP. Yeah, I know. I know she was tired. <laughs> she was VP. You be right. feeling bad. <laughs> I was a rapper. I didn't have to get up to work. I was looking at them like, damn, look at her go. <laughs> She is really getting it done, showing up for her kids. Mm -hmm. It's fucking, man, getting home making lunches and shit. Mm -hmm. I just had her head underneath the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Giving orders. Yeah, She word. was taking oh orders all weekend. God, we was oh, rolling. We hey, was rolling. Hey, see, that niggas is old. What the <laughs> you never role play? <laughs> no. Look. <laughs> Working with you a few months, I just know how to shut him right down. <laughs> you know how to shut him right down. All you got to do is ask him some real shit about real life. No. Good <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Ice, you ever role play? Yeah. Parks? Yeah. Mel? Yeah. Yeah for me. You? Oh, shit. I just shouldn't have just assumed. Nah? Nah. It's just too cool for the role play. Yeah, it's just too cool to be role oh, playing. I'm not dating a white girl without role playing. 
Yeah. <laughs> nope. Nope. To, how does it start? Look, I'm trying does, to. Look, how does the role play start? Look, I'm trying to. I'm trying no, to put a scenario no. in my brain. Well, it just depends. There is a scenario. Hey, you're gonna play. Yeah, 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 skip it. <laughs> Damn, you never did that. that yo, you that that be real. That teacher shit. Be Wait like, a minute, yo. Stop it. I ain't get your look back. I never role play. No, because his stupid role was in real life. He showed up for a job to fix a bitch sink and end up <laughs> not fixing, really fixing really a sink. That's the plot he, to he 90% up, of porns. Yeah, he really ended up fixing a sink. So that wasn't role playing for him. Oh, he was really, man, he really got paid. That's stupid, yo. <laughs> oh, stand man. over you when you... Anyway, go ahead. Oh, oh, yo, oh, oh, my oh my God. Yo, rock oh, my yo. God, man. This nigga's so stupid. Yeah. That's my man What's right there. He caught a flashback. I love now. him, yo. He's crazy. You're stupid. He's yo. crazy. What was we starting with? I don't even remember what I was talking about. What's up? <laughs> we good. Chilling. Shout chillin'. to y'all out there with the overnight bag in your trunk, man. Y'all know who I'm talking to. Shout out to y'all. Y'all the real, y'all the real warriors. Listen, that, that used to be it. I used to have one. Yeah. I used cool. to have hey, I'll throw it right sure. to that couch. What's right, up? Right in that van. <laughs> I used to definitely keep over. Oh, y'all talking about y'all having one as men. Yeah. No, you talking about the women that have overnight yeah, bags in their trunk. Real hoes. <laughs> a man overnight bag yes, makes you nigga. a big hoe. Y'all caught no, to that, right? Makes you hygienic. Yeah, no, stop. Yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a hygienic hoe. <laughs> what the fuck did you talk about? But you come off like a hoe. No. Nah. You, you don't think that aesthetic is hoe like on a man? No. A man with an overnight bag, honestly. No. No. All right, I'm asking the rest of the room. Uh, it, it says that you might get around a little bit. Flip. Yes. Mel. I just think you're very well prepared. Yeah, that's it. We, see, that's a work in progress. Where we, answer, where we answer direct we questions. We answered it. We get, we get better. All right, fine. I'm not staying there. Moving right along. See what happens? <laughs> I know when to move on. What's up? Stupid. In a good move. I got some good sleep too. Fuck out of here. A whole more weekend. Oh. Except for one night. Except for one night. I was out. Uh, <laughs> this nigga crazy. Do you want to tell us where you were? You spent the night out? No, oh, I don't. Shit. Yo, that, I don't do that. Oh, to say. I don't do that. Nah, I, I know that. That ain't really Those, your bag. That that's not your bag. That ain't my. I don't spend the night out. Oh. Nah, she act like I do if I don't text her when I get home. But still, oh. <laughs> spend the night out. Out where? I stopped going to girls' houses at fucking twenty. I know. That's why you ain't six. need an overnight bag. So y'all was using the overnight bag when you stayed at her house. Yeah, supporting the overnight. You don't need the overnight That's bag been at your nice. house. That's been nah, nice. You, but how many was, days are you staying for for the yeah. nigga to need the overnight bag? Depending on who she is and how good she. Man, you put some, <laughs> oh, you, you was trying to lay up. <laughs> <laughs> you was, oh, you <laughs> was there. <laughs> you was there. Small operating niggas always lay up. He had to lay up. Everybody turkey lasagna be different, my nigga. True. What? No car, nothing. Yo, you the man? Yeah, I stand. Yeah, I seen it with my own eyes. You ain't got to. You, you got to do this for me. Just saying. I seen it. It's all right. No, you got it, dog. Now you him. You got it. Turkey lasagna. <laughs> no matter how clean the sheets is, you just good. What? Just make it sure. Like no, nah, I don't do that. Okay. No, nah, we ain't doing that. All right. I tasted everybody turkey lasagna during the pandemic. Uber me that food, girl. <laughs> Uber, huh? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah I, no, look at your I man. Asked y'all how y'all, I we asked get that y'all, nigga. Look at your man. Ask y'all how y'all hey, weekend on. went, right? Our weekend is good. So hold so on. So now, first topic. Yo, wait, 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 nigga, wait, uh-huh. nigga, wait, nigga. I noticed something. When we get you, you got a way of really, <laughs> really segue out of shit. Straight plain face yeah. like that. You segue out of shit real good. I don't be thinking the audience cares. Uh, no. They only care when it's us. Yeah. The li- what, what's the name of the shit? The listeners don't like the listeners. Uh, <laughs> the the listeners listen, don't the care. Listeners don't. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, they don't care. Listeners don't care. Got you. <laughs> I don't think that highly of myself yeah, to think the listeners care about that. He, he got out of there quick. He do a... <laughs> Sometimes Uber. <clears throat> For the most part. Got some six-inch heels on. Oh, I'm not familiar. I'm the good driver. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Got gotcha. you. I don't know. Yeah, move on. <laughs> <laughs> they listening. <laughs> Go ahead, keep laughing. They don't care. <laughs> I ain't say nothing. You got it, bro. What's up, man? Come on. Where do we, where do we start? Oh, we know where we start. Yeah, we know. Start with Usher, man. Come on, man. Come on. Usher. Round, Usher. round of applause. Right, come on, Usher yeah. Next. Yeah, real, 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 round of applause. yeah we'll need it. real round As of applause. Super Bowl halftime performer. Go ahead, get your misinfo on. No, I mean, <laughs> shit, that's what we're clapping for. Usher Indeed. was just announced as the Super Bowl halftime performer. Oh. They got to chill fire. out. They got to chill out with the Witcher McCallers, though. What, what the jokes? What's that? I seen about 50 different niggas do the... Oh, the skit? Yo. Oh, yeah. Put yeah. that on everything. Oh, I saw... Um, I seen 77 of them. Dion, Sam, Marshall. Uh, yeah, Marshall everybody. Lin- yeah. Everybody. 
You're talking about how it was announced where they used uh, the beginning from Confession Confessions. 1. Confession yes. Uh, and everybody inserted their different yeah. piece to respond to it. I, I thought that was brilliant. It was fire. It was fire. But uh, and the fact that you saw it that many times says it was brilliant. Sure, yeah. Somebody behind the scenes is high five in that that marketing was a layup like that. Yes. But, the, but the dope yeah. shit is, I wonder if they uh, reach because some of the people, if re they really, you know what I'm saying? Like, who did you think was the best? I thought Marshawn Lynch is Marshawn Lynch was yeah. fire. Yeah. I like Dion's. Um, them two, mm -hmm. probably them two, mm -hmm. were, were the best that I saw. <clears throat> but I wonder if behind the scenes they reached out to them prior to. You know what I'm saying? Because sure. as soon as the announcement came, mm -hmm. they just flooded mm -hmm. the airways yeah, with sure. that shit. So of course. three, no, four were, days prior prepared. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were well prepared. Yeah. That's, that's with fine. That. Congrats again. Like multiple yeah. takes. Well, from Jay-Z. Oh, man. I didn't. Well, I mean, you know, me and the big homie, we, we talk often. But uh, when I got this call. Yeah. And he said, it's, it's time. It's magic time. You know, it's, it's time for you to have that moment. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what, what you talking about? He's like, the Super Bowl. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, man. you ready? Absolutely. But no question. Yeah. It was like, this was destined to happen. I think that everything that led up to that moment, going to Las Vegas for my Vegas residency mm -hmm. for the last two years, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the legacy, obviously, that is the music, the celebration of, of entertainment in that place. It's a city of lights. You know, it's always been... A place where, where you know entertainers go and, and find love and passion to mm. yeah, and drugs and escorts <laughs> and <laughs> charges and once y'all start getting into your press kit bag, I'm out of there. Yeah, yeah. All right, but y'all get the point. Mm -hmm. What a call! What a call to receive. Uh, no shocker to me on this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's uh, already in Vegas. Well, the, the only shocker to me um, when that remember when the Lizzo situation happened and then mm -hmm. they, they put out that little list of people and they were like. They took her name off, out off of, consideration. of consideration. Yeah, mm -hmm. she his name. Good. was Yeah, his, I, I didn't think she was ever on there, but right. his name wasn't on that list at that time. And I was just that was that's the shocker. That's it. No we, everybody was saying this should have been Usher. From the, I feel you cut me I off. Feel, you cut me off to talk about some Lizzo shit. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? No, nigga, I'm talking Lizzo. Shock, nigga. I feel like at that time he he already had it in the bag, yeah. and that that list was bullshit. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, it's the smoke and mirror shit. <laughs> yeah. <So, laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Melon foe. <Okay>. I'm not. <laughs> it's just. It's just my opinion. I no, feel. I, I feel like he. They knew that they were gonna have him. Like it just seemed like there was like a whole campaign. <laughs> not as real shit. Huh? Yeah. There yeah. was a whole campaign to have him as the um the halftime performer. Yeah, I didn't buy any of the announcement shit for one second. I thought that for the last two years, I think Usher's been in Vegas for two years now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that was all a plan. I think somebody might have even told him to work toward this Vegas Super Bowl mm. when Dr. Dre and them was was doing the Super Bowl. So when Hove calls and says it's magic time, it's not just magic time out of the blue. We we had talks. Yeah. When I, I went to see Usher, though, in Vegas, beautiful show, beautiful building, but if you're a huge fan of Usher and you look around, you say, yeah. 5,000, six, how many 6,000 this hold? It is odd. Mm -hmm. It is odd for an artist of his magnitude to just do that one venue with that capacity. That, yeah. was, that was weird. The yeah, residency. But look at, but the residency is yeah. how many nights and how often yeah. he's doing it, though. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Even with the residency. He's still even, Yeah, but this was the loudest residency you've seen. Residencies Definitely. aren't normally That's so true. loud. When you say mm -hmm. loud, what you mean? I we mean, press about it every after, yeah, yeah, yeah. after, after every show, about it. he gotcha. had a social media gotcha. team mm -hmm. clipping shit up. They were paying blog sites to post these things. With it, these was, it was giving celebrities with hot exactly. girlfriends front yeah. row seats. Yeah. Yeah. Row yes. seats. Yeah. yeah, it seemed this was this, this was is a calculated. This is intentional for sure. Operation that worked. And the residency, you know, was a way for him to build up a level of stamina for the halftime show. I think. Even that, I think people needed to see him. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. he had been like in the tuck for a minute. People and the needed residency to see shit just reminded people like, this is who the fuck I am. All of the roller yeah. skating around, yeah. mm -hmm. all of the hanging That's with the younger older. acts. Like, That's true. I want to highlight it because the job that him and his people have done for the last two years, talk about reverse engineering. Word. Like, talk about having a goal and working toward it. We know that. For legacy acts, the Super Bowl halftime performance is a big thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Usher, I think I might have even heard him say before, this is on the bucket list mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what's missing from my, you know. 
And now you start looking at the conversations about him and his contemporaries differently, right? Mm -hmm. Because before it was Usher, Chris Brown, Usher, Chris Brown. This is part of what helps create separation. For sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just want to applaud. A lot of his contemporaries will probably not get that look for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. You can't even... And then I thought... Then I'm like, damn, do you crush it and maybe try to bring, get, get Chris cleared to do a song? I don't know if he can be cleared. That's what I thought. The I thought crossed my mind, but, but he, I don't think he would do if it. If he yeah. can be cleared, if it was y'all, would y'all share y'all moment that way? I don't it, know. it depends on their relationship. I think if if he's my little bro and I'm tired of people putting him in the background. I'm asking didn't, you. Didn't they just I, have a fight? Man, you love him. Didn't they just have a fight? I was going to say that. Yeah, they, but they might have had a fight and brothers might fight. Might have made up. Yeah, true. Brothers fight. You I'm, know what I'm saying? I'm asking y'all, would y'all share y'all moment like that, period, with somebody you had a great relationship with? Yes. Yeah, I would. Especially if, if I want the world to stop blackballing him. Yeah, I'm going to give him the shine on the stage. And I'll take the heat. He ain't going to get that much heat, though. Cause you, he's in position. He's already established. He could take the heat, and it'll just if I'm breeze on. I want to be clear. I don't know if he would have that option though. He may not. I don't know he if may, the NFL may. and Apple Fact. Music would be like pro and, and Jay-Z. bring out Rock anybody. Nation you know what I mean? All the all the powers that be Jay-Z. in this situation. A lot of people Rock have Nation. to sign off on that, True. and you're right. Not happy. Yeah. But to your, do you think he's bringing anybody out? Do you think he needs to? He don't really. He don't, have to. No, he don't, he don't have, have to. to. No, I can't have. see him not bringing out Ludacris, Lil John. I, yeah, for right. the, those uh, two, for, yeah. yeah, those like, two are the ones for me. Lil Ludacris, Lil John. Um, he's gonna do yeah. He's absolutely yeah, he's yeah, gonna, gonna do yes. yeah. Absolutely. And he's gonna do one of the songs that Luda is on. Uh, yeah, and what's the other one uh, that you just started with? You don't have to call. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. he's not doing that version. No, nah, I don't think mm-hmm. he'll do that. I mean, if, he, if he's doing yeah, something with Luda, it'd be lovers and friends. No, but it's too slow. You could, it's too I'm, slow. It's too slow. Yeah. He's definitely doing yeah. So yeah, it's happening. I, I think. Um, well, why are you saying it's too slow? Uh, let it burn. Slow songs are going to happen. Yeah, Prince. Yeah, Prince, 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 Prince slow Prince, songs are going to happen. Didn't yeah. Prince do Purple Rain? Sure it did. was slow. The most Prince, iconic. Prince. Prince. Hold up, yeah, yeah. 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 Fire. Oh, yeah. Don't just do that. No, not fire. No, not fire. Amazing. Bruno Mars was fire. It fucking rained during Purple Rain. I love it. It was purple was rain. I'm Watch just your rain. I'm just responding to her saying it's too slow. No, I don't care. Rog, Prince different. Rogers Nelson, nigga. Anyway. But that's different. Tell me why it's different, man. Pur- different. Just purple rain was just different. With the rain and the purple. J- and, just- and the boner guitar. Like, yeah, stop. I mean, I mean, right. Y'all think, right. think, y'all think that Usher's not performing nice and slow at the Super Bowl? He definitely not. I don't no. think so. I, don't I think he's going to let it burn, though. He's doing this. He's not doing this. Nice and slow is coming What is it, 12 minutes, 15 minutes? It's about 15 minutes. Wait, one song. They ain't not what Call none me, of these you songs. Might give you a hook or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, it uh, might uh, not be the whole, the, the whole verse and chorus. Yeah, but. It might give you a hook. That arena is going to get, that stadium is going to get a chance to say, it's 7 o'clock on the dot. Yes. I'm in my drop top cruising the streets. It might be the, the opening streets. fucking song. Are y'all out of your <laughs> minds? Now, he might not get in the yeah, let, let it burn. That's a good point. And moving mountains and uh, oh, other slow joints. No mountains coming up. Yeah, ain't gonna be no mountains. Nice and slow is playing. Mm. Superstar might might be playing. Mm. Now the rest of them, I think you get your hits because this is about yeah, the it's, hit. it's yeah, all no hits. Which is some of the Usher records that I'm not really the biggest fan of. I didn't love my boo the way that everybody else did. What's the that's, show? Uh, that's coming on. Um, my boo caught up. I'm the kind of brother. What's caught that? up. Yeah, uh, I ain't like it. I every, every, mm-hmm. every mm-hmm. no nigga. Mm-hmm. Every show Never I've doing ever it seen. My way, he my does that. Years. He does that shit. Every In year. my career, hey, come on. You didn't like my boo for real. <laughs> I didn't like it like everybody else did. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wasn't a fan either. But I loved that record. I wasn't. <laughs> I just, We're I gonna wasn't. get to you loving that record in two seconds. That's why. We're gonna get right to you loving that record. Don't run from it. I'm not, run from what? Don't I stand up in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We just talk about that outside. We stand on ten stand toes up. down. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck is y'all talking I'm, about? I'm with him. Oh, 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 we gonna get to you. My, I'm my. just trying to picture. I like my move. I'm just trying to picture the scene when we're in Vegas watching the Dolphins and the 49ers face off in the Super Bowl, and in the middle we get to see. Usher Raymond <laughs> perform all of his classics. And then Rem's gonna say, "Boo, wake up, we gotta go." <laughs> you gonna wake up, and you gonna be yeah, it's fucked up. I, my bad. Hey man, we getting to you too. That's Watch fine. Train. Everybody's in a rush. <laughs> hey yo, we gonna be all day. We gonna be all day. We getting to you. Okay. I have resistance for all of that shit. I thought y'all was gonna come in. Like, okay. Yeah, fuck out of here. We ain't going on some dolphins. Rhea, I'm on you. Okay. Dolphins, the 49ers. Do- 
I almost thought about going to bed on the Niners, but we're not doing football right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Usher, so what records? Uh, yeah, all of the fast joints. Uh, my way, fucking, you don't have, you to, don't call. have to call. The mm-hmm. fast joints is coming out. Mm-hmm. All of the fast joints. I can't think of uh, his catalog right now. My brain is drawing a blank. Your brain is your age. <laughs> it's not drawing a blank. That's, think you do? Oh my god! That's just your brain now. Oh uh, my yes. god! Is oh happening. my god! It's happening. Oh my god! It is. Climax is happening. Climax. Yeah, probably. Climax is happening. But that might be hard to. His album do. is also dropping that day. Climax. Climax is, is like a was such a slow long yeah. build. He's doing it. Just, so he's, he's doing a verse. He'll factor it in he's like midway point. You know they do the uh, the little rearrangements with yeah, the yeah, chum, yeah, chum, yeah, chum, yeah, yeah, chum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Broadway yeah. show shits. You know what I'm talking and about. Yeah, yeah. They always got the shum shums. Yeah. Yeah, 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 They'll figure out. It. That's a little transition trick. I know. Yeah. I know how they do it. I got them doing a verse of a lot of shit. Yeah. New shit. No. No. Mm-hmm. I don't think his so. album's dropping that day. I Which is care so what. smart. Glue is glue is too slow. It's mm-hmm. too no. Good good. I. He might try to do one of the. He might try to do good good because it's a dance record or boyfriend. Boyfriend, one of those is the dance, the fast dance record. He's uh-huh. gonna try to sneak one of those in. Mm-hmm. If his album is coming out, I would. Yeah. His album's coming yeah. out his that album's dropping Sunday. That, that Sunday. Is this speculation or no? No, oh, okay. it's been oh, announced. announced. Okay. Album is called uh, "Coming Home," I believe it is. And it's I never out. understood why other acts never did that that were performing at the Super Bowl. Or I'm dropping it Sunday. The weekend did it, but what he did was he he dropped uh, a greatest hits. See, no, that's not, not a new project. A new, but a project. project. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm and it was everything that I'm performing. It was damn near the set list. Well, that's usually what happens, right? Is when someone does the uh, Super Bowl halftime, all their shit blows up in, yeah. in terms so of like he goes up. Says, I'm gonna give so you. So they gave a you a nice project. clean package yep. yeah. of these are the ones. Go ahead, have a blast. I still have not seen a greater album release in the last ten to fifteen years than the Beyonce surprise album that I was in Sin City oh, yeah. for when it dropped. That one that stopped. The world. It stopped time. It did. That yeah. was the greatest shit. Word. That was a, and that was a true and changed surprise. everything. And after. nobody really knew that shit. Yeah, that was, was a real. Like, that wasn't. wasn't, that wasn't a a, yo, my album all. drops tomorrow. Yes. My album drops midnight. That shit was. Yo, it's a new Beyonce album yeah. out. They nobody. couldn't believe it in the strip club. Like, wait, wait what? <laughs> <laughs> a fight might have been on. <laughs> for real. That was some real shit. <laughs> Stupid yeah. videos for everything. Yeah. Like, yo, bro. Yeah, they killed that. That yeah, was the flyest shit. And she was talking that shit. Yeah, it was yeah, a great album. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. she was mm-hmm. talking other shit. Mm-hmm. But this is, this is how you picture it should you, be. You, you, you agree with the Sunday drop yes. as opposed to absolutely. the Friday? Hell yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Why? It's the Super Bowl. Uh-huh. No, I'm saying as opposed to because after Friday. the game goes off, after the Dolphins and, and win, and I'm gonna, gonna want to hear, hear it. Usher. Yeah. I want to hear it at halftime. I want to usher high at that. There's point. gonna be music heads. the The younger room with the game on is gonna have maybe that. The music lovers, more, more importantly. The women that just sat through this shit are gonna be like, put that fucking usher on, and you're gonna be like, e- yep. yeah, I'm gonna put the usher on because now I'm a we want to hear. Yeah, we had we want to hear. We had a couple drinks. We had a good time, <laughs> and we're trying to catch the people that the commercials work on. Mm-hmm. We're trying to catch this extra eighty million people that we wouldn't normally gotcha. have the window to. Hey, if you're gonna act, act now. It's like last year when they put that moving little square up there and I thought the TV broke on the uh, commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then forgot the numbers that. came back on the people that actually clicked to see what that shit. It worked. Mm-hmm. It worked. Mm-hmm. I forgot that. That was, fl- that was fly. Genius. Who sat on the fucking remote? <laughs> genius. Yeah, they tried to kill me in my house when yeah. that commercial came on. Uh, but I'm just really happy for Usher. I think it's well deserved. Absolutely. I think he has the catalog for it. I think he has the cachet for it. I think he's worked for it. He's earned that shit. I can't wait to hear the new album. Like, I'm just excited for not only him, but everybody in his camp that that worked on this. And I can't wait to see the performance. I think it's going to be like roller skating heavy. Oh, yeah. He's going to show his ass. That seems to be his brand, so I wouldn't be shocked. I am really excited about it. He's going to go crazy. This is one of the more... um, Anticipated, anticipated, yeah. Uh, and, half times I can remember, and that was saying? a lot of the the residency became like a like for the people that didn't see the residency pre roll out, yeah, yeah, it's pre roll out. Pre-roll. I was like, yo, I gotta catch. I've been hearing about this shit mm-hmm. for the last mm-hmm. two years. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm definitely catching this. What's okay, the la- now, what's the last do you think thing? he plays into his uh, bring bring someone's fine girlfriend on stage? No. Antics? No, 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 your only job is to beat Bruno Mars. That is the last 
R and B perform. I'm not counting Beyonce. Word. How you put this new shit on Bond Bird? <laughs> <laughs> Press and hold it. That's some new. Shit, man. <laughs> I like this new phone. I do too. I, do too. I, do. I ain't gonna lie to you. Gang. Nice. I like this Gang, new phone. Nigga. Yo, this shit way lighter than my old shit. <laughs> I don't my, even my talk. My fingers feeling better and shit. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so great on my pinky now. Yeah. Honestly, I don't even deal with niggas that got the fourteen <laughs> and below. Yikes. Yeah, they still got lightning little, plugs that, and that shit. I don't even talk shit. to what them What is that flash shit called? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Way back to us. Bruno uh, Mars. Bruno Mars is the is the R and B act in recent years that really just set it off. True. His was he really did. Yeah. So I think you have to beat that. It was to the point where people was like, yo, y'all can get Bruno Mars back next year and we will be fine with it. Mm -hmm. That's how fire that was. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, he did, he did his thing. He did. Stage show is amazing. Yeah, but Usher time. Yeah, no, it's, no, Usher. it's Usher time now. It's Usher time. No, that's going to be one for the book. Come on, you better sure. moonwalk. Do all that he shit. Do all that shit. All that circle hey, shit. Hey, you hey call, call Chris Brown if you pieced it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell him to teach you how to backflip on beat <laughs> and <laughs> land at the snare or the drum, the one, land with, on the one. With the skate That was song. the flyest shit we ever saw. Yeah, he killed that, though. Come on, Chris. March Madness shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the flyest shit ever. You got to do that. If you do that with skates on. Sober. You the, you the Don Dada? So <laughs> You got it. That's it. I'm with you. That's it. I'm with you. Stupid, yo. Happy for Usher, man. Word. Yeah. And, and I think the black community needed this. <laughs> Seriously. Did. I ain't gonna lie. It did. I think we did. Like, that shit felt... When you cut your phone on in the morning, he was like, oh, sh yeah, okay. It felt good. It felt, felt like, proud. felt like yeah, reparations yeah, yeah, a little yeah, bit. Like, 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 like all right, one, one of us got what we deserve. Especially, <laughs> man, we just had hip hop at the Super Bowl halftime show. We've been eating for the halftime for a minute, bro. And we had Rihanna. Uh, Rihanna. Now, both of these performances maybe left some... Um, Something to be desired? A little bit. Mm. That's the nice way to say it. Yeah. Really? I like, I like Drake. Half of them niggas during that. During what? <laughs> what? <laughs> during what? The Drake. Half of them niggas during that West. Oh. Come on. That shit was fire, man. That shit was fire. And that's hate. That's hate. That's not hate. That's hate. It what was, was, it was dope. I, I like it. it. But what the, you ain't like the, about it? Um, the actual, like, the set design was fire, but the performance itself was not as exciting as what I think Usher will bring. There were, that way. You know what? I found a way to say it. Okay. There were a lot of people on that stage mm -hmm. that would not be there as an individual. Okay. Usher, you know, deserves to be there as an individual. Yeah, that shit was cool for the whole West Coast committee committee uh, performance thing with Kendrick the set design that was cool Rihanna is Rihanna so you know why Rihanna's there that one just got an asterisk this which one Rihanna the just Rihanna. because yeah she was pregnant that's oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, respectfully yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah, that's, she, okay. she that's couldn't it. give us what she's, pregnant. This, she's capable so okay. while you know black people was jumping for joy with both of those this one feels entirely different sure. for me I see what you're saying I would agree I disagree yeah it feels good in my spirit yeah when I saw it literally I was like happy that's the, the way y'all describing that is what I saw when I saw Dre, Snoop. I, saw, I felt the same way. As I <laughs> Kendrick. Well, because your circle's not broadened. Uh, yeah, it's cool. It's a dot. Pause. <laughs> and pause. pause. That, was man like that. that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> your circle's <laughs> 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 Circle is not That's broad disgusting in. when you think That's about it bro. like that. It's terrible. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Usher. Shout out to Usher, man. Mm -hmm. My algorithm, because I support the whole community now, is showing me like bodybuilder gay couples. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo, that shit is interesting. Listen to this. That shit is interesting. Let me tell you something. If you yeah, think shit. about it. Somebody sent me some shit. This is a true story. Somebody sent me some shit and said, yo, what's up with your man? And I'm like, what are you talking about? They said, you open up the thing? I said, yeah. It was a nigga. Opened with, up the thing. It was a dude getting out the pool, ripped up, body crazy. Joe His under there crazy. liking the shit. <laughs> His body was crazy. <laughs> His body was crazy. Hey. Yo. Well, who decided his body was crazy? Me, yeah. That nigga had a nice physique, motherfucker. I ain't gay. I can compliment cool. and appreciate somebody that got a nice I'm body. Right. So you liked it? Did you like this? No. Okay. Why you ain't like but he, you that? You not supposed to get out the pool slow with the <laughs> <laughs> tripping off his body. Yo, tripping all over his body. Come up under there with the 
bars. <laughs> there are rules to liking <laughs> videos. He's right. Yo, Joe, under there. You gotta salute like, them niggas. Somebody like, yo, said it to me like, he was trying to run the circle. Who are these loser niggas that you talk to? Yo, it was one of the things. That's like, like such loser shit to me. No lie, they do. Nigga, you know what, what? What did you like about the video? Do you Everything. <laughs> what the pool part? Or, or yeah, be clear. Be clear. Be clear. Right. We do. We do. I don't know if y'all joking. If y'all serious, <laughs> I don't know if we back. rolling. Here go. Here go. <laughs> Magneto, so, get hey, for all the people oh, that, hey, for all the people that like the text ish about my like, you bitch ass niggas. <laughs> I like transgender pictures. I like lesbian pictures. I like gay men, male pictures. I'm friends with a bunch of them. Y'all niggas suck my dick. <laughs> Fuck is y'all talking about? Mm-mm. Okay, if wow. you friends, if you friend with a gay man, do you like his pictures? Yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that, but we talking about Hollywood Unlocked. They took that same picture and put it up on their shit. And it's the nigga, and he clearly is getting. He is, it's, like, it's like he said, the nigga getting out there. I ain't looking at it like that. <laughs> what the fuck would you see? Like, doing what? that, yo. As somebody that wants to be healthier and like train better, some of these niggas be doing some home workout shit that I think is fly. Okay. So I follow him. That's true. No, that's true. Yo, he's, he's one of the niggas. Just, so you just like I without really just, looking at what was nah, I like the, I like, I support that. He so was, I just he was walking out the just, water with the speed on. I ain't think about nah, him. Nah, nah, hold on. Speed on. <laughs> Yo, hold on. Hold he on. Hold on. Speed on. He was coming out the Joe. water like that. See, you like that. Joe, <laughs> See, Joe take your like back. Go take your like back right now. You my man. You ain't like videos like that. You know that. Why? Because he's coming out with the speedos on. That's not your man. That's not your friend. I'm not looking at like that. What are you looking at? What is that? What about doing pull it? Ups and planks. Crazy, exactly. <laughs> He's getting out the hey, water hey, in slow hey, motion. Hey, with check muscles. this out. I'm going to support my people the way I support Salute. them. A little double tap. Don't take nothing away from my day. That's and y'all support the killers and whoever y'all want to support. Like y'all. <laughs> there you go. Like y'all you're going to put down the killer community. I'm just saying. You're going to put down the killer community. You're going to put us down. What the fuck? Now they don't even remember where we was going. You said putting down the killer community. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Oh man. <laughs> what were we talking about? You were talking about here. your uh yeah, 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 support of the community. Y'all feel you feel a little what? cold in here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You should put it on a 70. Yeah. Yeah. 70. It's a good It number. was at 64 smarty pants. <laughs> doing that smug shit he doing. He no. doing that smug shit he doing. That's not smug. Parks no. is so smug, yo. No, put it on 70. 70? I know, he's trying to be funny. Yeah, I'm so tired of this nigga. Oh. <laughs> God. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Parks. <laughs> yes. Dolphins. The Even Dolphins. I know 70. <laughs> Yo, he has got to be stopped. Nah, not today. <laughs> he's got to be <laughs> stopped. Today. I'm surprised you ain't coming here with the shit on. I yeah. kind of forgot, actually. Yeah. We getting all right, so let's you. all forget this. We're getting to the Dolphins. <laughs> I do want to stay on football. Speaking of communities I support, y'all know I support the baddies. Mm-hmm. I do. Mm-hmm. So normally I wouldn't even bring this to y'all direction, but because the young lady is someone that I have followed and supported, and she is a fine young lady, uh, Travis Kelsey's ex. Oh, I thought you were talking about Taylor. Well, that's what I want to talk about. Uh... A lot has been weird about this, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I'll try to paint the timeline. I'll start with Bill Belichick has a statement (laughs) about Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. That's weird. He looks like a Swifty. That's weird. Even if he was, I feel like we wouldn't know about it if Bill was a Swifty. But anyway, cool. All week long, leading up to the game... All of the analysts and the experts and everybody everywhere kept teasing toward Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey dating. Mm -hmm. I'm home, not a Swifty. Like, why does everybody give a fuck about this? I know this girl's a big deal. Everywhere she goes, they keep the camera on her to show like a Taylor Swift reaction everywhere. But that's really annoying if you're not a huge Taylor Swift fan. Mm -hmm. But fine. Then Jason Kelsey went on Pat McAfee's show Mm -hmm. and almost like teased to... Travis and her being a thing and maybe she's coming to Arrowhead. Then there was the Travis quote directly after that that said, when I saw her at Arrowhead, I said, hey, maybe you'll, co- I, maybe you'll come to Arrowhead to support me one day, right? So mm-hmm. then all week, that was the fuss. Then Taylor Swift gets to the game. They keep the camera on her the entire fucking game. Boy, is that white woman annoying. <laughs> She's annoying to watch for me. 
She's too long and linky. <laughs> You know how, like, when the fucking, what was the name of the old slinky toy that, that you just throw in and it goes to the bottom and it comes back? Remember when they used to lose control of it? That's what she looked like. When you lose control of the slinky thing. Nah, she looked like the, um, the shit they have at the, at the, uh, uh, car, the car dealership, the big dude. Like the Gumby yes. thing? Yeah, the Gumby air over. thing that's blowing all oh, the way around. Arm yeah. like, yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's how she looked. Travis Kelsey fantasy owners had to be happy. You know he about to go off in front of this woman. He did 69 yards. You a freak ass boy. <laughs> you a freak ass boy, Travis Kelsey. He took, a knee, he took, a, six, took a knee after 68. Yeah, 69 <laughs> yards. You disgusting, but it's cool. It's cool. Anyway, the Chiefs won in heroic fashion. It was beautiful. They blew him out. Uh -huh. But all of the fuss after the game was Travis Kelsey cutting off his beard and having just the mechanic white boy mustache. Cop stash. State trooper. Yeah, the state trooper mustache now that he got Taylor Swift at the game. Him and Pat Mahomes down there pointing up at the skybox like two doofy-ass niggas that ain't never been around nothing nice before. They was really excited. You know Pat's a Swifty. Waving from the game. <laughs> he gives big Swifty vibes. <laughs> Jackson Mahomes scaling the stadium trying to TikTok with fucking <laughs> Taylor Swift stupid ass Mahomes is only one of the Mahomes is his fly <clears throat> and him is still a little he's just nice at what he does but them niggas is goofy anyways Taylor Swift boosts Travis Kelsey jersey sales 400% oh shit he gains a whole bunch of followers across his socials mm -hmm. his outfit that he was wearing which is his own outfit that was called I'm freestyling right now let's say it was called the fly suit when Taylor Swift got to the game they changed it to whatever her song title album title 1916 fly suit or some shit and now all of the Swift, Fifth Swifties came and purchased this. It was the highest searched sweatsuit on Sunday. Mm -hmm. It was craziness. And then the fans got in his ex's socials and just shitted on her, talking about you lost one, you fumbled the bag, blah, 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 blah. But it was split because it was another side that said Travis Kelsey has downgraded big time from this beautiful black woman to this skinny, frail, tall, billionaire, geeky, screech, saved by the bell face looking Taylor Swift. Mm. I couldn't wait to come in today to ask my amazing, prestigious cast this very direct question. Did Travis Kelsey downgrade by going from the beautiful black ex to the billionaire, white, Gumby, slinky girl. <laughs> I say, no, he did not. Why? The great white hope. Jesus Christ. He wasn't white. No, she. She's the great white hope. Um, <laughs> um, I feel like, yes, his ex is beautiful. I saw a picture of her. She's amazing. Oh, Sometimes, wow. man, you know... Um, in the dating scene, you have to level up. He didn't down, he downgrade look wise because she's slim and other ones voluptuous. No, he didn't downgrade, nigga. He, he upgraded. Yeah. Financially, uh, mm. he upgraded. I well, can't buy love, Flip. I mean, fuck all that. Let him finish. Please, let <laughs> him finish. Fuck all that. We're not looking for, he not, them niggas ain't looking for love. Come on, stop. No, but you please go. Please finish. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I want every word of what you're saying clearly and He upgraded optically. I said what I said. Like, I feel he upgraded. Period. Mel? Uh, <clears throat> well. No, go ahead, go ahead. So hey, we want to pass the buck around here. Or, <laughs> nah, yo, do y'all know how excited I get when I'm home and I come across a topic where I feel like I got y'all niggas? Not got y'all like I'm right and y'all wrong, but got y'all like, yeah, you got to answer this one. <laughs> yeah, there's no that escapability shit y'all do. You kind of got to answer. Hey, did he, answer. did he downgrade? I'm going after Mel. It's so I'm direct. Answer. It's so direct. So, um, in a very roundabout way, I'm going to get to my answer. There's this private. No, yes, I am. There's this private gym in LA called the Bank, and if you look up the Instagram page, it's only the baddest chicks in there. That's it. Only women. The Bank. The Bank. 
And Kayla Nicole was one of those girls. Stunning's not the word for her. I mean, in real life, she's gorgeous in pictures, but in real life, Jesus Christ, downgrade, downgrade. Downgrade? Yes. Can I answer now? Mm. Two things. One, we don't know nothing about that girl. She could be a pain in the ass. She could be a headache. She could be annoying. She could be insecure. She could be a whole bunch of shit that you don't want to deal with. One. Two, most importantly, she don't have to look better than you to be an upgrade. Mm. Ooh. It's just looks. Mm -hmm. Looks come and go. I feel mm -hmm. like that's all we're judging the, the, the conversation But that's where on. it's wrong at. Yeah. yeah I agree. I, okay, agreed. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. No. Hmm? Mel. I'm on your side. Mm -hmm. So one thing we're going to do mm -hmm. is not agree with them. <laughs> even, even if we agree, we're not going to tell them that to strengthen any point that they try right. to make. Back at you, nigga. Fuck out of here. Fuck are you talking about? But Big I will. But I, oh. I do want to say this one she thing. She sold out on the first No, 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 no. I do, no. I, I do, I, I do want to say the most frustrating part of this is the fact that they broke up a long time ago. Like it wasn't oh. yesterday. It wasn't a week ago. It wasn't even a month ago. It was was like a year ago oh, so God. I want to challenge some of that shit he said go ahead all speculation of course all mm -hmm. speculation. we don't know these people well uh -huh. we do know uh, well anyway all speculative I assume watching Kayla and Travis right that I do know a few things about her she has been quiet this entire time even through Travis Kelsey's scandal, she was quiet. When she left, because he did whatever the fuck he did, he was sad. Okay. He was visibly sad. He got his big contract, I want to say, that same summer and still looked sad. Everybody told him to go get his girl. I think when you see something like that from a relationship standpoint, that's enough to assume the girl has some qualities that are redeemable <laughs> what definitely you, have, and what, I didn't even want to bring what, that up what, what do you say to that I say you definitely if the qualities weren't there I don't think there would have been a relationship to begin with okay so I don't go off what you're saying about we don't know nothing about this girl I'm, I know that you was head over heels for a very long time have you ever been head over and, heels and, and then happy. fell out of love with somebody and then you couldn't stand them no more have you ever been head over heels or with a girl now looking back you regret it that has happened before okay so, so, so back to uh, I was only refuting the, the part about we don't know nothing about the girl can that's I just, one two no I ain't done with this nigga sorry, I'm sorry, on him you was okay. agreeing and shit no 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 hold on, I on got we more. gotta I stand got, unified I got, I got more yeah let me give you I a little got, more time okay, to think. I got this nigga also what was your second point what was that second point you made she don't have to look better than you to be an upgrade uh, well stop that's where he's right he's wrong he's right no, he's, he's right 100% right. right he's wrong you said he's wrong no, I'm, right now. no I'm saying he's wrong Tell us why. Y'all are saying he's right. I wanted to bring this to flip. If y'all believe that, then you have to stay on that side of the fence. Because too many times I hear the men say, and Kevin Samuels, and everybody who supports just man shit say, we don't care how much money this girl is making. I never so said that's nothing about the money. Own. He ain't saying nothing about I never money. said nothing I about did. money. In my examples, I flip never mentioned money. That was flip. I used to say I said okay, she so don't have I, to so look better give, than you. Then I give that to you Thank then. you. No, and thank you. I'm refuting that shit. No, I, I hear you. But I don't want to hear about her. She billion, sold out. I don't want to hear about nigga. her billionaire status She's, because men like, always see, say, "Yo, I don't care about how much money the girl makes." That's Especially true. when you got your own bag. So I don't yep. want to hear about you being a billionaire. I'm just, oh, you talking about her qualities? Yes, that's all. I'm just saying because all everybody is saying about this girl is look, look at her and look at Taylor Swift. So they're saying he downgrade. downgraded. Yes. Based off of looks. I'm I agree. saying that downgrade. She could do so much and more. And she looked less nigga. annoying than Taylor Swift. <laughs> we don't know. And that. she looked like she talked a lot less and get a little more submissive than Taylor Swift. She was I'm just mad assuming quiet shit. Yeah, in the gym. That's all I'm it is. I'm just assuming, assuming shit. That's all it is. Yeah, but I'm here to do it. That's all it is. Yeah, I mean, not nah, I'm downgrade. Just saying, with the looks. I mean, we accept, accept, we accept. Boom. Hey, I mean, <laughs> salute. Boom. I, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. By, by him, I mean he was tired of white men using beautiful black women as an entryway to some shit. Yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. You, oh, you yeah. Why you not mad at Hunter? Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. playing Panda, yo. Why you, why you not mad at Hunter? What's up? Why you not mad at Kayla? Why you not mad at Kayla? Nigga, she sold out, nigga. 
What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sold out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She sold out in the first place. Good Uh-oh. for you. Uh-oh. You sold out in the first place. Look at Kim on me. She sold, she sold out in the first place. Get with that white. That's good for you. He went with the great white hope, Taylor Swift. Now you sit there and fucking eat hogging dogs all day and be sad <laughs> so while wait, the niggas troll your account. Wait, 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 wait. And you fired him. Wait, question. Question. You invited him question. here into our group. Question. Now he cut his beard. Question. Looking like fucking Robocop pops. <laughs> 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 good for you. So she's a sellout because she's a black girl who dated a white, a white boy. That's what I said. I'm on some ignorant shit. Yes. Today I am. I'm being ignorant. Yes, she's a sellout. I'm saying she sold out by dating this white man. There's a lot of brothers that play football. So I, I have a question. Is 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 Isha a sellout? That's my man. So I'm not commenting on his personal relationship. But I think that'd be inappropriate at the job to comment on his personal I just, relationship. I'm, I, just, I just want to make a distinction. That's fire. That's, that's true. That's I just have to... I just have to, to that was fire, man. Salute. You set your shit up. I, uh, so, uh, because I, we I, called you a sellout, too, when we found out that you was in love yeah. with Bob uh, Roker from, 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 from NASCAR. But we but called you a sellout, so... Yeah, you, like white, but, so you like that white bean, too. Well are, well, are my parents sellout because I'm a product oh, of... Yes. Okay. Yeah. Joe, you can't say... Yes. No. Jesus Christ. You can't say... She asked you. Yes. You see it blinking? You see it? It's blinking. Goddamn signal on. Parks, no, Parks, no, Parks, how do you feel about this? How, you know, being married to a black queen, how do you feel about this conversation and the direction that it's taken? Yeah, it's taking a weird left. I right? mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's taking a weird <laughs> left. And I'm, with, I'm, with, I'm trying to get back in the right Thank lane you. here. <laughs> if we don't mind. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Visual downgrade. Of course. Uh, social status. Upgrade. upgrade. Big, big. If he was sad. See, see, when men say that, I think that. Well, if you be real, if you want to be real. Say a it. man saying that is nuts. I'm not talking about parks. A man going into any dating scenario and thinking, hearing his voice in his head saying, I win, you know. What is it? Let's say yes. he was. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. In the, in the social world, Let's I say, get up if I, I date I, her. I just read an article where she said that he never spent money on them while they were dating. She, he didn't spend money on her while they were dating. Let's say this, though. Let's Dog, say. I've spoken. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I, hold I've on, dealt bro. with some of the, some of the, some of the more. I've dealt with some famous women. Never going into that. Let's Did say he, I say, hey yo, ooh, my social status goes up. Let's say he if was I'm sad. Excited. Like, why would a man think like that? But we think that. Let's say he's looking skeptical in the face right now. <laughs> let's let's say he was sad. The up the, the slap in the face would be Taylor Swift. Fuck out of here, huh? Let's say he was sad. Let's say that she hurt him. The slap in the face would be Taylor Swift. He might like skinny butts. Yeah, skinny what? Mutt? But, but, oh, the, oh, oh, shit, the word on Travis Kelsey has never been. That's the other thing that make you look a little bit shady. That's the other thing that make you is look that's shady. That's never been his type. The word yeah. on Travis Kelsey is is that he likes him. He likes he likes Taylor Nicole. We've seen that like happen that. with a bunch of niggas. The word on him was he only date white girls. No, 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 no. This shit is no. This shit is this shit is get that out of here. Y'all don't know these people. Stop talking over a woman. This shit. Oh, stop talking over a woman. She's talking over me too. Yo, Cargo Pat. She's a woman. Cargo P. I'm sorry. What? Why are you, you just go <laughs> pee? You can go pee. You gotta get that this problem is no, check. I want to Oh! <laughs> okay, you can't do that. That's, 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 that's hey, when Mel, when Mel fly a guest in, that nigga prostate look mad weak. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that nigga Joseph, prostate. Jo- Joseph only peed one time. <laughs> for, for 24 hours when he laid with me. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Go. Oh, holy shit. Yo. Yo. Go I, pee, but remember that when we pee. talking, it's nigga. It's a joke, nigga. I don't, don't want to... <laughs> Stand to this bub ass conversation we need full of bullshit. In my opinion, I think that Travis Kelsey is downgrade. Well, well, not even that. I think that he's just really excited about how the NFL feels about this coupling. The NFL is seeing like fucking dollar signs and it's proven. Hmm? He probably trying to hurt Ke- uh, Kayla. I think, I I think this conversation is such bullshit. <laughs> if Joe hey, said that, dog, tra- can I ask you a yeah, question? Yeah. Can I ask a question? What happened to him? To everybody finding somebody that's equally yoked. Mm. Oh, back to that. That was a quote a week ago mm. that you gotta find somebody equally yoked. Back to yoked. that. Uh-oh. That's not. Uh, That's her quote. He on her ass. I know. I'm I just saying. Patreon in so. today. Get her, nigga. Clear out, Joe. Clear out. Clear out. Clear, clear out. out. Back out, Joe. <laughs> yeah, he got it. He got it. Just sit down. Fuck. She can't walk now. She crawling. She can't walk. She crawling. You on the ground. I'm just saying. Help your girl, Joe. Help your girl. I don't see how I'm how I'm disabled at this point. What's happening here? I don't see it either. I see it. What are we talking about? The same yoke comedy. Yoke. 
eggs. Hey, yo, we're eggs. talking about yolk. Talking about equally yolk. We're talking about <laughs> eggs here. I, He's I know referring the to your comment and what I, you said. I know what the fuck okay. I said. But and what you the got shot in your legs. And <laughs> <laughs> how does it pertain to this? Because oh, she coming I, back. I, yes. Because <laughs> she, did, she yeah. turned into Trinity. She turned into Matrix. I don't, don't explain that <laughs> But Travis and Taylor would be more equally yoked. Not even, not even fucking close. His money don't come anywhere close to hers. I said they would be more equally yoked than Travis and Kayla. Okay. What say you? That's probably <laughs> fucking true. She, he probably does no, have a whole lot more no, money than Kayla does. Absolutely. And. Well, that's I, not part of the conversation here. But yeah, I don't see how to. It's really. It's super it's, 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 irrelevant. It's crack, crack they talk, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, flip they pancakes, talk, nigga. She, she's she's irrelevant. Oh, it's yeah. a fucking How's red irrelevant? herring, okay? Oh, red herring. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, you want to figure? That's racist. Muffin. He's like, man. Oh wait. Muffin. Oh, can I tell you? Muffin man. Muffin man. Muffin man. Yo, can I, can I she tell y'all she in the really, kitchen really quick she's the JBTV not, oh she's not ready the JBTV X subreddit in their little space talks mm -hmm. at the end they do a male word of the day <laughs> <laughs> today is gonna be red hair I love that <laughs> you're such a geek I am uh, anyway, in that way I am I thought such that a was geek. pretty fly Mel's word of that. the day I but do. go ahead nah I just think um, I think that uh is it an upgrade come or not? Come on, it's come yeah, on. It's, yeah, it's gotta do it, man. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, come on, it's come on. You got on, this. Bro. You want to be dramatic, man? Nah, 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 I'm, just, I'm just trying to. You know, I'm you play the piano. Nah, dog. I, we yeah. having a great pie. We have an amazing we fun. Just, pie. We gonna have a great, great pie. Have a great when we were talking about you. equally yoked, I wasn't talking about oh, privileged oh, fucking white girls with blonde hair and blue eyes. I wasn't talking about them. And it's irrelevant to this conversation. The equally yoked. This is not it. We started talking about fucking upgrade and looks. That's it. That's it. So, well, it's not it. We talking it's about nowhere near it. We talking about it's nowhere upgrade, near it. You conveniently period. picked out the, the, the attributes looks. that you wanted to oh, to suit oh. your particular narrative. Oh, oh, oh. I so didn't even start oh, oh. the fucking conversation. It was know, him, just, and that's what he said. But you just brought up blonde hair and blue eyes and diverted from what your equally yoked conversation was about. It so, was. I'm, I'm saying it was not a diversion. It was. That was what I was talking about. We were talking about black people. That conversation was prefaced when we by by the fact that we were talking about black people, black women, and black men. We're not talking about fucking Taylor Swift. We're not talking about her. So let me know when I. So there's no more yolks. Yeah, exactly. Let me know. Let me know when I. She go. only eat egg whites. I, look. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, fam. Are you talking healthy. about her or me? Because no, I just ate uh, one over there. Y'all. So you, when, when we were talking about Talk relationship, uh huh. Um, we know that uh, in the instance that Tyler Perry talked about. Why did the fuck was. <laughs> I don't believe this nigga, yo. Something's fucking wrong with you. <laughs> you smell it? You smell it? <laughs> yo, you are a fucking idiot, yo. I swear, this guy is a fucking nutcase, yo. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that lives on Newark Lane. <laughs> yo, you are an idiot, yo. Oh, <laughs> man. Nah, I don't want to, dog. I don't even really want to. It's an audio broadcast, man. I know. You don't bake anymore? Unfortunate. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out the kitchen. That's crazy. This is, it's just bullshit. <laughs> That's all. Fam, <clears throat> we came in. So, oh, man. Men got to step their shit up. Mm -hmm. The same way we knock women. It's conversely, we got to knock the dudes. So you have dudes running around the same way we criticize women about how women will fuck with a dude based off of only financial status. Mm -hmm. Men, conversely, will only fuck with a woman based on how she look. Mm -hmm. She can be stupid as fuck, bag of rocks, can't go to the PTA meeting for the kids, none of that shit, but she pretty, she got a fat ass, she fire, we'll fuck with her. Uh -huh. Now, back to my previous point with Mel was, when you started talking about people picking spouses, you mm -hmm. said you want to find somebody that is equally yoked. And that yoking in those eggs that you were talking about were financial eggs. So now why does that not stand true if Travis Kelsey wants to, quote unquote, go find somebody that's more equally yoked? So he dropped a young lady, and I'm not, this is all speculation, it's all innuendo, but he might have dropped that girl and go fuck with Taylor Swift because Taylor Swift got the bag. Okay. Again. Why is it not held in the same regard? 
thank you for saying what you said in the beginning about men having to step up. I appreciate you saying that. Number two, when we were talking about the equally yoked conversation, that was in response to the comments that Tyler Perry made. Mm -hmm. And when he made those comments, he specifically directed them to black women and talking about black men. That's why we were having that conversation. So I just want to make that. It was a conversation about finance, though. That was the thing. The, the focal point of that conversation was about women dating down financially. And you said it's nothing wrong with a woman that wants to find somebody that is equally yoked financially. Yeah, because so if Tyler, because, because so if the situation Travis Kelsey he, wants to go find somebody that got some spanky, why is it a downgrade? Because well, I, I'm not saying that she's a downgrade. Obviously, she's not a downgrade financially, but there's a factor that plays in here that he had been separated from Kayla Nicole for over a year. So there, Taylor Swift didn't play a role into why they broke up and what he was searching for later on. Did. That's number one. And number two, my other point was, and he might want a rich rich girl. Hmm. Maybe he does. Maybe he wants somebody, somebody that's richer than him. But I think that when he looks at Taylor Swift, it's not necessarily, oh my God, she's a bad chick. I think it's that oh my God, this is about to be a career elevation for me in a different way. This is about to put me on the on the radar of the NFL in a different way. You That's, are bringing up a whole bunch of irrelevant shit. I don't response, think that it's my, irrelevant my, at my, all in this my, particular my, conversation. My I think it's you, very relevant. My yeah. response to what you're saying, though, was all of our responses to her in that conversation. Like, if I'm on the side of the love part mm -hmm. here, then the equally yoke shit is... How it's trash. That's, no, that's, I that's, agree. Yeah. I'm saying that is. You know, I don't stand in that. I don't stand in that. I don't. I think somebody needs to find somebody based on what their chemistry is and what their connection is. I don't give a fuck. I've dated rich chicks. I've dated broke chicks. I ain't date them based on their social status or where their finances lied. I dated them based on the chemistry that I had with the person. Uh, that old lady from Toronto. I never dated her. Hmm. Oh, we don't know what data. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Go so, ahead. So, Go ahead, and I didn't get a dollar from that lady. So knock it off. No, you're too busy dropping off. You couldn't <laughs> couldn't pick up. <laughs> you couldn't do <laughs> So what I'm saying is, I, I'm just saying for the this particular instance, yo, I, I don't think that a, 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 a downgrade is just physical. In closing, we have to wait, stop. I that. just want to ask a question before you close. Because I've seen a lot of people go and pull up. Travis Kelsey's dating history, mm -hmm. and it's not just the young lady that you guys were mentioning. There's, there's been other women as well. Okay. Why can't a person say, all right, I've been doing this and not finding He's it. Right. Let I me go to try on, something different. I wanted different to touch on here. that too. You 1,000% can. If it ain't, if what's your, what your current plan of action is isn't working and you decide to change, you're well within your right to do why, so. So, so yeah. how, go ahead. So, is that a downgrade? Y'all should feel shame of yourself jumping a girl. <laughs> I'm not jumping Two no, of y'all. Look at y'all. I'm not jumping listen, anybody. No, no, no. I sat here, waited with my and, hand and, and up, and, and chilled and out. I, and I don't feel jumped, but here's the thing is, I don't feel like anybody was really preoccupied with Travis Kelsey in any way, shape, or form before... He was dating Kayla Nicole. I, no one cared about who he was dating before. Then he starts dating this beautiful girl. Everybody kind of knows about the whole situation. They break up. Get speculation as to Get why they out. did. And they now, beautiful. And, uh, Get him out. I'm sure, listen, I'm not saying. Be wait, well, hold up. Yeah. Before you try to misconstrue what she's saying, Travis Kelsey can get anybody in the world and it would be what it is because of who he is. Yes. But it was this one the, that the, seemed to do some molding behind the scenes. Changed a few things, got him hot, got him going to Copper Cove in Atlanta. <laughs> she, she, switched she switched him up. You She switched him up. You pie. Not even a little bit. That's not true. That's not true. She switched him up. You are pie. That's a fact. She did switch him up. He's true. It's true. You pie. She switched him up. She upgraded him. I stand in that. She switched him up. She upgraded him. That's totally possible that the person with less money could fix you up. Yes. I didn't say you couldn't. Yes. I'm saying you possible. I'm not. And in closing, I do believe that he's going to spin the block for shorty. In closing, He's coming Travis back Kelsey's She's on tour. Travis Kelsey's popularity went okay, crazy with them no, niggas no. winning Super Bowls. 
That his popularity and being the best tight end in the, 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 in the in, NFL. He's the white boy that fucks with the black culture crazy. <laughs> blah, well, blah, 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 blah. That's not true. I challenge all that. Mm-hmm. I because do too. that the same was not true for Zach Ertz when he was going off. The same is not true for Dallas Gobert. The same is not true for Mark Andrews. There's plenty of tight ends. Yeah, none, that of are, none of them is Travis Kelsey. None of them are Travis Kelsey. Are Travis Kelsey. Kelsey. Yeah. Yeah. None of them had Patrick yeah. Mahomes. No, none of them was the personalities are his. They go crazy. Travis Kelsey is arguably the best tight end to ever live. No, I'm not However, talking about talent football What she did for his cachet. I'm talking about his personality es- especially off the, off amongst the field. women. Cash All is- of that shit could exist. Football is for niggas. What he did with the That's not women true. That's not true. Yeah. It is true. Yeah, Cash not true. is it's not true. true. It That's it not true. true. Cash Cash is Kelsey true. Is Cash is As a woman, clean, I'm bro. telling you it's what true. he said is true. It's Let me ask you this, Mel. It's Do true. you know the three people he named? Who are you talking about? Do you know who, who Dallas Gobert is? Do you know who um, Zach Mark Ertz? Andrews is? Do you know who Zach, Zach Ertz is? They're all tight ends. Uh, do you know who they are? No. Hey, that's my point. That's he our point. Pu- no, he's publicly in front of the camera on his own more than any of them other tight ends. His public persona is and it. Why he's do you loud, think that he's is? boisterous, he's mad cool, he's fly. Before we ever knew who this Yo, girl was, aside, we knew. Aside come on, from stop. that, aside his from public that, persona aside is that. Aside from that, his quarterback is the reason why, is another part of that. Hey, that's a huge part, too. But no, I'm talking about him off camera. We know who fucking, uh, what's um the crazy white boy from New England? Uh, Gronk. Gronk. We know who Gronk is because his public persona is larger than life. The same way Travis Kelsey's is. It ain't because Gronk was dating some fine ass model chick that we know who he no, is. No, it's because Gronk is Kelsey on the fucking not, pitch. What? Kelsey ain't Gronk. You kind of argue my point. Thank you. Huh? And, why? and Gronk is also why? on the fucking Patriots because, and he's also got a shit ton of fucking endorsement deals and he's on fucking commercials and shit. Like, same that's way Travis why we fucking Kelsey is. And, it, and the fucking Patriots Kelsey is a too. fucking Baby, dynasty. You are, every you time, are every time I have them, every about time I have the Chiefs. Them, you jump in Sorry. and we lose them. Thank you. I have them. Oh, let me, please let me do <laughs> go this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Gronkowski is not Kelsey because Gronk, at any point in all of his party animal, spike the ball, uh, endorsement darling, even in spite, without Tom Brady, nobody ever looked and said, oh, it's somebody at home pampering that up or it's somebody that's uh, molding that. That's just Gronkowski. He retired, and he was still a, a an endorsement and advertisement darling. Based on that was not the case with Travis Kelsey. You, based on what that is, they went to the Super Bowl when they lost, and you still didn't see a Travis Kelsey commercial. That was not the case. Travis Kelsey needed a little more oomph to be cared about by a certain demo. Now, the people that watch football may not highlight that demo because it's women. And it's black women at that. But she definitely made that nigga matter to an audience that would not have known his name. Y'all got it, man. Yeah, I'm I'm tapped out. We can agree to disagree. Yeah, right. For real. We can agree to disagree. We, can, we can agree now. to disagree. Because yeah. no, you are you a thousand percent wrong. You didn't get nobody. You're so right. And that nigga. And you didn't get nobody. You're not wrong. You're wrong. But it's cool. It's cool. If I'm wrong, then why are you hearing... Uh, shit from the internet saying that you downgraded. The internet is going to be the no, no, internet. No, no, I'll tell you why. Are you I, fucking I kidding me? It's Taylor Swift why. one. She's an internet fucking sensation. If what y'all are saying so is true, be it's, it's Taylor Swift. I'm, the, I'm, I'm her. Nobody anywhere should say I downgraded. You downgraded. Would you like me to tell you why? Would you like me to tell you why? You want me to tell you why? It's because black women started liking him once they saw him with the beard and they saw him with all of that. And now that you just said what I said. No, I'm talking they're the same ones that are making... That They're didn't the, know who he was. That didn't give a fuck who he was until her. Dog. That's what I just finished saying. Okay. They are the same ones who are making okay. that argument of the downgrade. It's just them. Ain't nobody else but doing it. The niggas the, ain't but, doing it. Stop. The, the same ones who didn't care ice, about him before the her. Ice, the just implies that it's not a lot of them. And there's a lot of them. Dog, I'm not trying and to. And it's not just women it's, talking about whether he upgraded or downgraded. A bunch of men are the, in the where conversation. Where did the conversation start from, Mel? What I, is I, I, I can't, what I, is I, I can't What do you think is starting point? I can't, I can't speak from what the starting point is. What do you I, I think? Don't. You're a smart person. Where do you think oh, that conversation is starting Whatever from. somebody say, add in closing to it. <laughs> I'm done. What's next? In closing. In closing. In closing. In closing. There we go. In closing. We go. No, no, we go. In closing. God damn it. Nigga, we pick and choose, yo, when it. 
We said in closing. You know what's funny? We it's, said it's in closing. A, but that's what I'm sitting here thinking about you. Cause, oh. cause, because we said you, in closing, Because Joe. you and I in real life, yeah, but I actually know how to close, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Because yeah. uh, <laughs> me and you in real life know quite a few athletes that didn't present the greatest, that had some assistance behind the scenes from a little known girl that nobody gave a fuck about that uh, resulted in a change. You, you and me. We know that to be true. So to hear you argue on the side that that's not so feasible is weird to me. I'm not saying it's not feasible. I'm saying it's not applicable with him. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Agree or disagree. Uh, what else we got? And that's not me moving on because I'm losing an argument like the <laughs> audience. I, yo, I stop I, I reading like the comments, yo. Never. Please, yo, this never. Guy. Never. Like, read them and never. just leave them there. Yeah, this nigga, I will yo. never oh, read them and leave them there, though. I got 23 years <laughs> to read these cockamamie fucks. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. Here's a man. comment from me. Last episode, y'all get the next segment together. Right? Whatever Got you it. need yep. with Shorty Dua. Mm -hmm. Last episode, I came in here talking about these fucking weight loss pills and diabetes shit and all of this shit. <laughs> I spoke some shit into fruition, and now I'm sick of it. I want to tell y'all ladies out there that y'all are single-handedly killing the thick girl the same way y'all got rid of slow dancing. It's all <laughs> becoming extinct. <laughs> Y'all are, con are confusing the shit out of me when I open OnlyFans now. God damn, the girl that was thick last month is a twig. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Can y'all fucking find a weight that you like and stay consistent in it? God damn it. No. You know, you Change know. It's so frustrating. No, they just go with what... It's like a nightmare. It's like fucking walking uh, Night of the Living Dead. What's the shit when all the dead people was alive trying to eat you? That's what all these skinny girls look so, like. You know what's so crazy? <laughs> yeah. Is, like that, <laughs> is that weight is is a trend. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was get, leaning into. Dog, niggas don't be secure with who they are as a person. They follow the trend. So when the thick Fact. girls is in, in style, they're everybody want to get thick. Yep. They're going to yeah. go get all these fillers. In, when the skinny girls is in style, they, they want to go in drop the, all this the, 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 shit in out. The 50, in the 50s, it was the pinup era. It was Marilyn Monroe. It was up. voluptuousness, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. And then the 60s, bring in Twiggy. Man, you know Saturday. what I mean? It's just like it goes up and down, up and down, Twiggy. up and down. You to go see one of my favorite asses on Saturday. One of the biggest, nicest asses you'd ever seen gone there. It's not there. It's you, not she's hurt. not there or her ass ain't there. You sound hurt, dog. Both. It's, it's all it. not there. She flew you, away. When you lose that much weight, it ain't just your ass leaving. Your face is your small. Face your face yeah, yeah, yeah. Your shoulders are small. Yeah, every, everything is small. And you're just sitting there and they talking so excited and happy. Oh my God, I lost all of this weight and I feel so much lighter and healthier and I can breathe now and my back is better and then you just oh, sitting there. Oh God, you none of that shit. there like, <laughs> <laughs> but I liked you. Stand, homie, homie. Homie. I liked it's you when so your back funny. was fucked up because you were carrying around that wagon. I like that. That's hate. Yeah. I'm not hating. I know no, what, that's what how, it's no, like. That's, what? Niggas be really. <laughs> Oh, we care about your health. Juicy, yeah. juicy cheeseburger. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> juicy cheeseburger. She ain't care about health neither, nigga. <laughs> Ish, hey, actually, speaking of diets, cool speaking of diets, come on, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ish is bringing sexy back. Yeah, on that huh? Let's go, Ish. Yeah, man. Don't know how to act. <laughs> yep. Nigga, Ish. That nigga went and got some Ozempic, right? Yeah. Ozempic. He put two of them shits on. Wasn't leave him in the dust. Nah. Got the semi-gastric. This nigga so semi-gastric. <laughs> <laughs> he got the gas. Yeah, not the full gastric. It's a little snip. Gas. It's a snip. <laughs> yeah. Yo, they just gave me a little sleeve. Yo, you stupid. How, how you feeling? Tell us about your oh, weight loss journey. I'm chilling. Just trying to, you know. Make it happen before the fall and the winter. Trying to lose weight. That's what you're Why is that so Summer bad? bodies is made in the winter. Ain't that what they say? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Why is you do that? Don't do that again, yo. No, that's what they say. <laughs> that's, 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 that's worse than that nigga liking that picture. Yeah. Well, yeah, don't, don't, do that, don't that again. do that again, dog. <laughs> we will jump again, you up here if you do that again. Stupid, dog. <laughs> that nigga, I like this. He's in shape. <laughs> yo. <laughs> you like him? That nigga's in shape. You like him? You like him, yo? Nigga picture. Yo, you like him? Yeah, no, that nigga that picture. That nigga I liked. You liked him, right? That nigga hair all down his shoulder. Oh, come on, stop. Oh, enough. Yeah. Enough. Well, that's why they say what they say. Ice, I'm me, yo. I, None of these loser niggas out here. Some of these niggas just talk it. Talk it, talk it, talk it. 
I, I don't care about nothing that they Well, you did the same thing the I party. did about music, right? You you didn't tell us why. We asked, why did you like it? You ain't say nothing. You're just like, I'm just me. That's not a... You're doing well, the same thing you, I did. you're the choir, but if you're the choir, I'm the conductor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm the conductor. You just wanted to like... <laughs> <laughs> so, huh? Give a fuck what these niggas say out there. Who cares? Who cares what they got to say out there? Idiot, yo. Um, all right, what we got? What we got? Since Ish don't want to tell us about his weight loss. Yeah, I mean, you got a goal in mind yeah. or something, though? Like, tell yeah. us something. Yeah. What you trying to do? 205, 210. Where you at right now? Don't, don't oh, say sorry. that. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man, you can't ask me. You, you get one little bit of company, boy. One little, <laughs> yeah. tongue, one little tongue kiss. Got you going yeah. crazy. One nigga at the door. <laughs> God damn. I mean, sorry. Do you have a designated uh, point you're trying to get to? Yeah, 205, 210. Mm. I got a nutritionist and all that. Nigga Trey. He watched, He a fan of the pot. Mm. Okay. You're a big fan of the pot. That's you take, you don't think that's gay? Do you shout niggas out? I don't think that's, that's gay. You don't think that's gay? <laughs> to have a nutritionist tell me what to eat and yo, watch what I eat. That's not gay. Man, tell me what to eat. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, big, yo, yo, big, yo, big dog, eat this, big dog. Yo, stay away from this. Stay away from that. No. Yo, big dog, eat this. Go get this bread. A dude telling you what nutrients should be in your body, though? He prepped your meals for you, too? That's a little suspect. I'm asking you. No, he prepped the meals for you? He prepped the meals for you? This nigga got a girl. in Texas. I knew my man. I knew my man. Oh, you got a yeah. Oh, you got a long distance relationship. <laughs> a long distance nutrient. Yeah, you're, you're, you are. you're an idiot. So that means he'd be FaceTiming you. You're an you accountability partner. You gotta, wait, hold on. If you should look good. You got to look good. You got to show up. How much calories you had today? You've been bad. <laughs> Yo, yo, you been uh, naughty? Yo, what's wrong with <laughs> yo, you? <son? laughs> yo, your brain is <laughs> Yo, you're the greatest. Yo. You know today's a... She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, man. Somebody tell me about Kerry Washington. Oh, what happened? Oh, what happened? Oh, what happened with Kerry okay. Washington? Okay. No, tell us. Speaking so, of cheat days. Kerry Washington, um, there's this TV show called Finding Your Roots. It's on PBS. And, um, All right, slow down. Okay, sorry. PBS? There's a Why? That's the same thing okay. I thought. Why? Slow down. <laughs> PBS Why? is back. Why? For the three yeah. rainbow. PBS! <laughs> <laughs> Woo-hoo! Who knows what can do anything? Why do you know what's coming on PBS? I, because Was that Channel a, 13? This is a really popular show. <laughs> on, P- on PBS? PBS. <laughs> yes. You are so well read. You, I know. And you guys are fucking heathens. Right, now let me on. get this oh, shit, shit out. Okay, so there's a show called... Hey, you. Call Find- me about their names again. <laughs> <laughs> there's a show called Finding Your Roots on PBS, and it's hosted by Henry Louis Gates. And basically, it oh, helps Henry. a lot. Yeah, a lot of celebrities track their lineage, et cetera, et cetera. And so he encourages families to have a private conversation prior to going on the show so that they don't have like any wild surprises like what ends up happening with Carrie Washington. She discovers that um, her father wasn't really her father and that she was um, conceived by a sperm donor. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. My bad. Way and this go, was a secret. So Alex was Haley a- was on PBS with regular roots. Yeah, yeah it's a different roots. <laughs> that shit, that shit this, played every yo, fucking yo. day, every year. And this was a secret Wait, that her I'm parents stupid, kept so from her. I got to keep up. Yeah. She was conceived by a sperm donor, and yes. she never knew. She never knew. Her fa- her parents had kept it from her. Did okay. They find yes. someone that like looked like her father. Uh, I don't think that that's how sperm donors work. Why do I have to tell you? Don't, my kid? You don't get to see the photos. You get to see, you know, their their medical history. You get what? to see what they do for a living. I don't know if that's true. I think you can. I think you can. Um, I know people that have done. Well, other forms in the comments, of- y'all can let me know if you know who's right, who's wrong. I don't really know. I've always heard that it was you don't see what the person sure looks like. No, no, you, 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 need to see. See. Yeah. you could pick. You could say, yo, I want them tall. I want them to be Well, I mean, like, um, it, will, it, will, it will say the stats of what the person I've is. I've got friends like, you know, that met the people that they had helped yeah, with. Yeah, me too. At the time? Before. Using Before, a sperm donor bank or something like that, or like I don't know it was what like the system they used man, was, but they knew the person. The fuck out of me. Okay, anyways, at the, at, so at the end of the day, Carrie Washington had no idea that she was conceived through sperm donor. Um, her parents apparently had been experiencing fertility issues, and so that was the route that they took. But they never told her, and this was how she found out because she was going to go on the show. Her parents were like, "Okay, the jig is up." So that was what they had to tell her before she went on the show. And I thought that that was fascinating because it kind of throws into question your entire identity, I feel like. Yeah, you I think thought, it was I thought, she, got throw, she got those hands with mom. Did you think it was foul of the parents to keep the secret from her, man? I think, Absolutely. I, I think that when... How? Man, yeah. hold on. Let me. I think that when 
you're making a decision to create a child, create a life, and there is some secrecy behind it. You don't really know what the entry point of telling the kid. And some, and at some point, it, you start to feel, or you may start to feel like so much time has passed, don't know how to say it, mm. and so it's better, you know, to be kept a secret. You're good. You're good, Mel. You, I know, that's, I, that's, I, you I, know that's bullshit. No, I you know, know, mom, no, you know no. Go, you, I just understand, con, like, inner conflict. What does that do now at her age and being who she is, what does that do to her mentally? What does that do to her? So I, now we don't care about how that makes the child feel later on? Well, she's, That's a selfish she, move well, that the well, parents she's, did, man. Listen, she's, she's being more, you know, loquacious about her personal not, life not, not, not than I've bitch, ever seen. Not this picture. No, she, no she's talking a lot about <laughs> she, her, pers about her personal looked, life. <laughs> And she's pushing a book, so I figure that she. Cartiers this week. I figure she talks about what happens in the book. <laughs> I just feel like Mel is just good at, at just hey, finding an excuse for everyone, and I love her. Right? Loquacious blockers. Yeah, I'm going to get some you, loquacious you, you, blockers. This week. <laughs> I don't like that you can look at me and like know what I'm thinking. Yeah, about I'm thinking, yeah. When I have my glasses on. I'm about to go get me some. Um, There's I'm, so much wrong here. Funny part is. Um, what part? Um, no, what are you? I'm first. sorry. I'm sorry, bro. If you if you had a child, let's say your child was adopted, it's similar to this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if her mother carried her. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. sperm donor, like so, it's her mom, gotcha. artificial biological gotcha. mom. Yeah. And they told the father after the procedure to go home and sleep with the mom, so you have plausible deniability. Mm. I double checked. That happened. <laughs> they go told ahead. what yeah, father? Hot, her, her, the fake father. The fake father. After they did the procedure, non biological yeah, the non -bi father, non bio father, non biological Let's not father. Call him to now. Go, go home, home and to come bust all bus over. Bust and another nigga nut. So y'all uh, might have mixed yeah. nuts. I don't, I don't, I'm, got you. Like, yo, you got like cashews. I might got these <laughs> yo, Yeah, don't come put your what? refurbished come over my shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> my shit work. Yeah, my shit is chilling. Don't come over my come. So you can have plausible deniability. That's sick. But anyway, you were saying. I, I believe that how you raise the child is more important than the other shit. I just In believe biology. that the child grew up with a loving, amazing household. I think that that trumps the other shit. Agreed. So Agreed I, to um, a point. I think that, um, you know, outside of any medical things where the father might have had to be a donor or something to that effect, mm -hmm. I think that the father's presence and the father's morals and the father, whatever they um, instilled in the child, is more important than the other shit. That's my Than opinion. biology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I disagree. I disagree. I, 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 do, do well, no, 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 no. Um, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. I, okay, what stamp? No, that's personal. Go ahead. No, I'm, I'm going to say something after. I, I agree up to a certain point. I think once that child is grown, they got a right to know. Every child has a right to a, know. You have a right to know. Now, I, I get it where you may not want to have that Why conversation. Why do you have a right to know? Because what you thought you don't you, have the right to no 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 I'm, I'm talking ancestry I'm talking about things like that like now you have a whole lineage that you don't even know exist because we lied to you and told you we were your parents so dad's mom is not grandma you actually have a biological grandma out there you have biological grandpa you have a family or relatives I'm not gonna say family blood makes you relatives mm -hmm. you have blood relatives out there. Medical history, exactly. all that type of stuff. Of the like, medical shit. like oh, so people, you, you just have a, thing, right to, people people have a right to know. People have a People have a right to know their them. genetic origins. They, people have a right to know that. Why are we saying that's not selfish if you've been hiding that from a person for so long? We pick and choose what say is selfish and not selfish. What that makes it a, selfish? And I think, hold on, real quick before you get to that. I think the person wants to know exactly, or they wouldn't be on this show. They wouldn't mm. be going on Find Your Roots. They wouldn't be sending their information out to, to these uh, uh, ancestry and all that. I want to know where I come from. So now, mom and dad, y'all had the ability to tell me something all my entire life and didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's I so got to find out this way. You would be bent out of shape if you found there, out? There's millions, Hell yeah, I'd be bent out of shape. There are millions of people that do reality shows for reasons other, other than, than that are truth. presented yes. on the show. Yeah, but this ain't a reality show. This is a, a, some like doc type of shit. Docu series yeah, kind this of is, thing. This is a reality show. It's still a reality show. show. Reality show. But you, but Put you, a cute bow on it. You don't necessarily agree that the, the, the I child has to I ain't tell you shit. <laughs> oh, I don't even see what the uproar is, but I'm trying to not sound ignorant. Yo, I'm waiting to get educated. This nigga said, I don't got to tell you. Really? You don't have to tell? I'm not, I don't have to tell you a fucking thing. I'm not okay. looking at it in the man. As as Joe's took, looking at it. Of course, he's a little harsh, but I'm in agreement with him. I got to come have a talk with you about me and someone, someone's inabilities to have you. That's now I'm sharing my personal shit with you. I don't think I have to do any of that. You don't have to get into details, but you should tell them that 
Tell them what? Yo, I'm not your That's not father. your biological not, father. I don't want to hear none of that shit. I don't care about grandma that don't know you. I don't care about the family that you don't have. I do acknowledge your health. That's You're, the only. But I they just closed that. I, when you, that's what I said. They just closed the health issues of the family that you get the shit from. No, I'm well, talking about outside oh, well, of like you getting well, in the well, crime. I might have to donate blood. They're not going to just give you some sperm and not let you know they got well, heart in that conditions case, in the I don't family. care nothing about auntie or whatever family don't know me. And oh, man. <laughs> let me get to shut up. <laughs> Grandma's fine. <laughs> Grandma that lived 89 years. <laughs> Without your little ass. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that you'll still think that way if if you're if growing up you didn't go through what you went through? Do you think you'll still think that way? I don't know. I'm just asking. What are you talking about? Don't make it sound more dramatic than it is. I ain't go through shit. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Yeah, I I don't my stance is my stance. I think parents have rights. I think that kids grow up and wanna apply all of this shit, this new age society shit. That's not new age, yo. This is not new age. It is new age. What are you talking about? It is new. Ancestry.com is new. All of those comparable sites and TV shows where you can find out who, who, uh, what cum is related to you I'm since 1600. Third, Back in the day, you, you, your mom might have cheated and you just but me, never knew nothing about nothing. The, you the, the only that, motherfucker that's that didn't what I'm have saying. You're, yeah. talking, you're talking about the way of... You're talking yeah. about way of... Cheating ain't new or extra partners ain't new. I'm just talking about this information. We, and what we're talking about is the people that are affected by not knowing who their family is or what they... Oh, I gotta hear. I gotta hear how you was affected. Uh-huh. Yeah, because, exactly. because because to Isha's because, point, you had two able parents that raised you, a mom and a dad. You already beaten out the statistics already. They clearly raised facts. you right. You you're you're one grand- of the leading leading ladies yeah. in this. True. Shit. If your grandmom and grandfather were great grandparents that were. You that had, taught you shit That taught you mm-hmm. how to make cookies That taught you how to make Fucking macaroni and cheese And to Joe's point The fact that you had two parents You are okay. beating out but you A wait, wait, population but you, but you, I would like to add on to that okay. And let's have the if debate If they were loving Quality parents but you can't, I don't see the deficiency Can I throw something oh, in there? Can, uh, Sorry go ahead Go ahead Go ahead Go ahead. <laughs> go. What I'm saying is I'm speaking from the POV Of I talk about it all the time Having seen the kids Whose dad left Come be reunited. Oh, I didn't know that was my real dad. I must find him. I must find him. Sometimes your mom knew that you should stay away from dad because dad don't give two fucks about you and they was trying to protect you. That's a so fact. So now you're going to go run, run, find dad. Oh, who's my real dad? And you might see something that you didn't want to see and now you and mom got a whole new problem. I just do think there are situations where it's circumstantial, but you don't have to do that. And that's why I said, I'm, not doing I'm that. with y'all until the child is grown. When that is an adult and can make their own decisions now, if they, I think they have a right to just Well, then don't come beat come me down about what happened from 27 years ago. Oh, no, Mama. I'm not saying I don't think you should be beating But down. that's what happened. Now we got to have a conversation. Now you mad at because your parents. You feel, yeah, because you feel betrayed. Well, here's a because little. Because you feel betrayed. You were lied to your whole, but your you, entire and, life and, is a lie. And, oh, and, Santa and, Claus is a lie. No, but on that point, she says that when she found out it was a sense of relief because she had a long time feeling that something was off. There was always something about her parents. I believe that. She loved them, but there was always something that just d- didn't compart right. You know, so being told I, I, was I, a I, sense of, of, I, of, res- I uh, of I relief that. for her. And her book is titled Thicker Than Water. So it yes. seems Come like- Thicker Than Water. Yeah. yeah. What? Wait, what did you say? <laughs> Come and stick Yo, it go on. 70, 70, 70. <laughs> <Yeah. Bart>. Hey, <laughs> Parks. What'd you say, Big Dog? Hey, Big Man. What? <laughs> Come and stick it in water. Is, That's man. the title. <laughs> no, no, I don't think it can be the title. What it, y'all? It, it'll get a lot of clicks. <laughs> oh my! Come and stick it in water. A lot of clicks. Take I it. can't. I can't. Nah. You said it to get a lot of clicks. God clicks. damn it! Hey, and, and stop it because some of these niggas come ain't thick. Oh my! <laughs> hey, y'all better go to the doctor. That's all we ended up in this situation. <laughs> some of these niggas shooting out dust. Oh shit! <laughs> y'all are disgusting. Hey. Both of you. Hey, hey, yeah. man. You're disgusting. Oh, you know what I mean? You're disgusting. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, you were saying. Nah, I, I just feel yeah. like we can't speak for the people that go through the experience. Since back in the days, people, and I've known, I know a lot, uh, when they get older, they're mad at their parents. And they go through some sort of trauma by not knowing. Like, how can you hide that from me? Hold on. Being adopted and all that shit. People feel like, I'm saving you the trouble by not, like Joe said, I'm saving you the trouble mm-hmm. by not letting you know who these piece of shit people were. But that's not up for you to say. You can't like like nigga. Don't save it. Don't save. Some people don't want to be saved. There's a lot of times. Some people don't want to be saved from that. But and you end up having a long and you end up having a long lasting issue with 
the child that you raised. It could this go, is statistically 50, 50. proven. I think it's 50 I'll take it even further than this shit Look, that we argue. You got about. kids, right? And you can agree that you'll do something that you might think is in the best interest of your kids or protecting your kids. Mm -hmm. So if the parents feel like that mentally or emotionally, because if you let them know early, that might lead to behavioral problems. That might lead to a whole bunch of uh, mental anguish that you might mm -hmm. be trying to save them from. I'm not telling you shit early. Go clean your room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Go. You get what I'm saying? I'm so you. you might, to Ice's point, Ice said, yo, he believes in telling them once they're grown. I agree. They still might hold a certain level of resentment to you because you told them once they were grown and you kept it from me for 20, 25 But it's years. the lesser of two evils. You mm -hmm. telling me Her when I'm, hold you. on, hold on. You telling me when I'm grown versus me finding out on my own when I'm grown True. hits different. It's a, it's a risk that the parents are taking because, dog, you might, I might pass away and you might pass away and nobody was the wiser. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, I think it's just a, a decision that the parents have to make, hopefully in the best interest of their kids. And we make mistakes as parents. Mm. That's it. Yeah, I feel you. You got your shit lined up? Cool? <laughs> yeah, I got my shit lined up. I got my beard lined up. Yes. Yes, sir. I can't. I can't even shoot at him with the deuce, deuce no more. He he pulled a rifle. He be ready to go. I'm ready. I gotta stay on point with you, yo. Oh, but man. no, you don't. No, I, I do. asked if your shit was straight, and I'm telling you, it's, it's, I'm straight. Yes. <laughs> know why this is funny? Whoever Mel Dayton is a doofy nigga that she left over there. <laughs> she left some goofy. <laughs> Nigga named Edric. <laughs> Some dumbass Char name over there. Chauncey. Yeah, you know what I mean? I ain't dating nobody cool that the fellas might want to meet and dap up and get a relationship with. You dating some losers, I know. Well, well, why? Or, why do you think or so? yeah. hold up, wait a minute now. Or that nigga ain't gonna be around that long and she don't need him to meet the fellas. Oh, whatever. Uh, well, well, you know. <laughs> you know what? She just gonna make faces. Nah, <laughs> nah, we going That's she, a good point, Ice. I never, I never even considered that. I never even looked at it that way. No, nah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, y'all stupid, yo. Why are we just talking about genealogy yeah. or something? They went to your genealogy. Really? I got a question for y'all that I'd like everybody to answer one at a time. <clears throat> oh, man. Which way y'all want to go? This way or this way? Parks. I've been watching. Dog, I I've don't been... know if I'm going to turn my daughter in if she did it, bro. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know Joe. <laughs> You're not. It's cool. It's cool. I think I'm, I think I'm done judging y'all over that. I watched some little, one of them little white boy podcasts. They start, they just ask a bunch of geeky questions and some of them just was fire. So I stole okay. some. Okay. A ball and a bat costs $1 and five cent, uh, $1 and 10 cent total. Okay. Okay. The bat is $1 more than the ball. Okay. How much is the ball? I don't Wait. Know. You confuse me. The bat and the ball mm -hmm. total cost one dollar and ten cents. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The bat costs one dollar more than the ball. How much is the ball? It wouldn't be ten. Anybody? It it's an audio broadcast. Ten cent to me. I would think ten cents, but I feel like this is a yeah, it's, it's a trick. A trick. <laughs> it's, what's the tax? It's a what's the taxes on it? Nigga? What, what's there's the no, what's there's the no idea? trick. There's no catch. Ten they prefaced it by saying only. 10% of the population yep, can answer all of these shit. But it's, it really is no trick. Trick. It's the direct question. I felt really stupid too. But answer it, please. 10 cent. 10 cent. 10 cent was my answer as well. Ice. You said it's. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 cents. 10, 10 cents. I said 10 cent, bro. 10 cents. 10 cents, yeah. Right, mm -hmm. So we all, we all stupid. All right. Mm -hmm. all right so what's the answer? Math was my worst. 5 cent. What? The answer is 5 cent. Please expound. The ball and the bat total cost one dollar and ten cent. Mm -hmm. The bat is one dollar more than the ball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One dollar and five cent is one dollar more than the ball. That's five cent, which is how my total that is correct. Is yeah, one dollar and ten cent. That is correct. It's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> My dumb ass. <laughs> Wasn't that pretty, pretty smooth? That was, yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. No trick. That was we, good. We just dumb. That was good. Yeah, yeah, no, that was a good one. Some SATs. They when mean, I go remember go another that. one, I'll, I'll shoot it out to y'all. Damn, SAT I like questions. that one. That was good. Oh my God. There's one, there's, there's one that was like, uh, if it takes 
five mach- if it takes five machines. Five widgets, five machines. Stop. If it takes five machines, five minutes to make five widgets, then how long does it take 100 machines to make 100 widgets? Five minutes. Yeah. That's it. Of course. I didn't, it wasn't easy like that for me. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hear you. What? Don't do that now. Don't do that now. Don't do that now, Ish. Don't do that now. Yeah, now the dollar five fuck me up. I'm the title. Yeah, here. I'm, I'm really I'm mad at an internal five. battle over here over that fucking time. Me too, man. Stupid ass Ish. It no, seems so easy. I'm over here too. tight. Um, where we at? Now they belittle you when you when you get it wrong, and it's like duh. And then you right. see the air, you like that one had me tight. Five cents. Five cents. Duh. Yeah, yeah. Fucking a dollar. How did not? It's trick. It's word tricks. It's, it is. That's see. That's what the white people did. That's on the SAT. <laughs> <laughs> um, where we at? We did uh, <laughs> Kerry Washington. Listen, love thoughts. Prayers. Prayers. Tell your kids. Listen, don't tell your kids. Yeah. Stop selling a book on the strength of your spon- sperm donor daddy. How about that? If he wasn't there, mm-hmm. let him not be there. Why you don't sell a book on your own name and your own merit, your own experiences, your career, it's all your accomplishments? Sorry. <laughs> That's why she went to PBS. Right. <laughs> That's why you went to PBS. Right. For the rollout. Hey, it was a memoir. For the rollout. It's a memoir. A memoir. <laughs> memoir. And it's called Thicker Than Water. So I think that I, she's... I know. You're selling some shit off, yeah. of your, off of your, your trauma. sperm donor daddy's name. Give him a cut. Now you're making his life hot somewhere. He, he <laughs> dropped you off and was chilling. Word. Now you want to come tell the truth. Have his friend group all no. lit up. Have, have his mother, his siblings all like, yo, that ain't yeah. really my niece, nigga. I thought she looked like me. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't really grand grand. Like, yeah. What do y'all think about, oh, man, quickly, we're mm-hmm. not being serious. But what do y'all think about the, the moms that are offended when the dads start asking for like a DNA test? Today? Shit. You can't, can't be too sure. You gotta just do it. Fuck that. I'm, I'm, you could be offended, but today, Man. we heard too many stories. You shouldn't have busted open for me in a week. Because if it's me, you're doing that for somebody else. Don't be offended. Cool. Okay. Quick reply. Quick reply. <laughs> <laughs> quick, <laughs> quick, quick. I want a mail reply. I don't think that offense should be taken. Really? Big you know. male, high five. They can't fuck Shit. with you. They can't fuck with you. Yeah. If I'm a chick, I punch him in his motherfucking face. Really? That's domestic violence. <laughs> they can get away with it. <laughs> but but they, they yes, they can. <laughs> All right. That's insulting. Wrong, Our relationship. relationship is over. Fuck out of here. I mean, there's there's consequences to asking for it. Okay. Yeah. But you said she shouldn't be offended. What's the um, consequences? But there's, but there's still the consequences. Like, you said oh, the relationship oh, okay. is over. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, stop front. <laughs> Wait, so you mean to tell me you're stuck with the kid for the next 18 and I get to go about my business free of charge? No, I don't know about free of charge. It ain't free. <laughs> Without the wear and tear that comes from active fatherhood? <laughs> that sounds foul. It's a nice ass plant. Word. That that sounds sounds like, his lights is fire. You're not offended till you're offended. That's true. true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. You're not offended till you offend it. You are correct. That's that Jersey City wisdom. No, that's some shit. <laughs> I just went through something <laughs> in the little co-parent group chat. <laughs> like, yo, getting offended as a dad is like, can I say something about this? No. <laughs> no. No, nigga. Absolutely. I'll be wording my shit so eloquent. You could, no, just come with consequences. That's all. Is there a circumstance in which you would be questioning like and I'm yes. not, and I, no and I'm not talking about it was just you just Uh-oh. you know came and dropped some dick off and then 5 weeks later she's like oh by the way and you guys didn't really have a situ- I'm talking about you're in a situation use your now, use your personal situation all of the right situations now. require <laughs> the, the paternity t- all of them what situation doesn't require that or don't call for it one of them states made it mandatory tell me to tell me the one IVF is it IBF or IBF? IVF? V with a victim, yeah. right? But I mean, like, that's two, both parties that's are... That's different. Yeah. But regular intercourse yeah. nowadays? You want me to trust you? <laughs> <laughs> would you, in your current situation right now, would you? Yeah. Ask? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. 
It's not a knock toward her. I don't believe she's doing anything, but <laughs> Just let's get the little case. paper that says 100%, nine, 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 all the nine. That shit is obnoxious with the nines. Yeah, yeah mad nines. That I shit did be 99.9999999. Nine, 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 nine. That shit is First, okay, so let's say, First let's, of all, the hospital, ad, the hospital asked me both times. Okay. The hospital asked me. Let's say you're married. Let's say you're married. Let's mm-hmm. say let's say it's a married couple. And they pulled me to the side and asked me. They ain't do it in front of her, thank God. <laughs> Like, hey, back, back, Mr. Button, you want to talk? Yeah, big dog. Hey, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> it looked a little shady when me and him start dapping each other up. <laughs> She's like, what y'all talking? We just like, nigga. <laughs> Football. Hell yeah, uh, nigga. Uh, like a fan. Uh, glad you said it. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, you anyway. But nope. from the from the stamp, like, if you're married, would you still want a paternity to test? <laughs> Man, people cheat, man. man we want to know. Right, you, people cheat. What you doing, man? What Yo, you trying to do? Yeah, hey, what did the marriage hey, change? Has, has anybody in here ever taken down a wife? Yes. yes. All right, then. So, not me. Some of the husbands not still, still don't know. <laughs> and they together. They still try to kill they're me. They together still. <laughs> Yo, you know what? Nope. Some of these niggas had words with me before. I be, I be wanting to, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. You know I fucked you your know, wife, right? How's Candace? That's, <laughs> wow. Candace still cool. Oh. Word. True, true, true. That's a dirty that's nigga, yo. Never. I don't, I, uh-uh. I don't do that. I read, pro- I read Proverbs, Ice. What that mean? They said you don't pop. Oh, somebody just went through this. Who just went through this? Oh, homeboy at the uh, fight that uh, slapped uh, the Charlo, one of the Charlo twins. He said that's exactly what happened. He did Gilly podcast, mm-hmm. and he said, "Dude said to his, he said, how's Coco?" Or you, oh. his wife is standing there, and you referring to her as some other name, and he was like, "Nigga, her name is whatever her name right, is," right. and he kept on with it. So I was like, <laughs> "Gotta pop you now." Got to. Got oh, to like uh, nigga on um, Soul Food when he was like, "Yeah, cola." He like, "Yo, why? What you talking about?" He like, "Yeah, you know your wife. I call her cola because you know she had that cola bottle shape." Yeah. That nigga said, "Oh yeah." Bah! Bah! Yeah, no. <laughs> Smacked him nigga, in the face with the lunch tray. Niggas don't, beat, <laughs> don't play. With, niggas don't play with their wives, man. <laughs> Whipped his fucking ass. Coca Cola, that nigga. I feel yeah. I kind of feel like if you're married, then you're then the woman's gonna be offended. Offended or not, Mel, we know married women step out. That was my point in asking that. Gotcha. They step out. Mm-hmm. You think they don't? No, I've, I'm sure that they do. Equally yoked. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right sorry. Now. Now. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else is important? You know what I wanted to highlight real quick. Y'all know I sent my mom and my girl to uh, the Beyonce concert. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Did they mute up? They muted up. Okay. Oh, te- they won. They were at. Houston they won. were at the show. Atlanta won. A couple other. Things. They were at the show that. the day before somebody got popped for not muting up. I knew it was going to happen, and I said it was going to happen in Houston. Y'all what that mean? Up. What's muting? Beyonce does a, a silent a challenge. A mute challenge, yeah. Uh-huh. Where there's a part of her show on one of the songs where at this cue she says everybody go mute. Everybody and the go crowd mute. is supposed to shut yeah, the fuck up. Ray Schroeder did it first. Who? I'm, I'm say, what? Who? Ray Schrummer. Hey, please don't okay. put Ray anybody and Beyonce <laughs> in the same <laughs> sentence. But go ahead. And it's always that one. Ray. That one. So screen. one person broke the thing at the Sunday show and got the shit slapped out of her. Oh shit! <laughs> big, big fight broke out. So a few takeaways from the Beyonce concert in Houston that I didn't go to, but I sent some people to. Uh, they both came back saying they will never wear silver again. <laughs> Good for your fucking asses. <laughs> Good for y'all. That's what I thought. Y'all wanted to be so thing. Everybody wanted to be so down with a theme, theme, theme. What's the issue with silver? It doesn't Everybody, keep well. it's a theme to go to the Beyonce concert. I, no, I get that part. But and why? where are you wearing it again? Why wouldn't they for wear Halloween, it again? maybe? So if you're in that stadium, sits 80,000, mm-hmm. 79,000. My mom says she's never even been around that many people in her life. <laughs> so if you see that many people in silver, and it's Houston, so some people killed it. Some people, it died on them. <laughs> Some people, it died, it on, died them. on them. And this album, a lot of the community came out. You know, the community gets boisterous. Some of them was wearing fucking just silver recycled soda cans. Like, it got crazy. So, I can see you seeing that saying, I never want to do that again. Um, that's the second thing. I never thought about my mom never being around that number of people before. Like, I was so, like, it's Beyonce. It's a stadium. Whatever. hmm but I never thought about some of our parents never having to have been, you know, 
un- uncomfortably yeah. around 80,000 people. It's a it, lot of people. Though. It was in the Cowboy? Oh, no, it was in Houston. No, no, it was Houston. at NRG. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. NRG. But it was a lot of people. Uh, secondly, or thirdly, whatever number I'm on, um, they went to the Saturday show. I noticed that Beyonce had a show Friday, and it was a show Sunday, Sunday in too. her hometown. My mom came back say, saying how over the top the show was, and she couldn't believe how in shape Beyonce was for that amount of time doing all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And then all I could think about was, and she did that the day before and, and the, and day, the day, after. day after. We don't talk about the physical shape that you have to be in in order to pull some of these performances off. Not to compare her to Drake. They're both top of the class, but Drake puts the big square out there. He's walking around. It's, it's rap energy. Mm-hmm. It's walking around. Different. Beyonce is up there losing her fucking mind like Tina Turner for mm-hmm. two and a half hours, night in and mm-hmm. night out. Summer's over. The summer for me didn't really summer, but Drake and Beyonce been doing this for about months now. Yeah. You know how much shape you got to be in? And that's just the yeah, United endurance. States. Oh, yes. Most of the world she is that She did Europe before still gotta go this. To Europe. And nigga, she's singing. Not lip syncing. She's singing the entire time that she's dancing around going crazy and sounds like the album. Ain't yeah. got heels on. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different for a rapper. Yeah. No, no disrespect to Drake, but it's different for a rapper. I mean, Dog. rappers that don't wear heels. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, some of these niggas getting their back. It's true. Yeah, no, stated. I'm talking it is, about, it is, yo, it y- y- your breath control as a rapper, I'm sure. She's harmonizing and hitting note fact. after mm-hmm. note after note. That's a different thing. And you running around doing all this, put a ring on it. It's true. That shit is crazy. It, it's, it's true. These like, just, that's why I be like, shout to her, yo. These are just things that I feel like I slept on as somebody that didn't go to the show or just seeing it online. Oh, lastly, I, I clearly have severely slept on that moment of Blue doing the choreo with her mm-hmm. mom and mm-hmm. what that means for the people in, in this audience watching. Like, when we just see that on our phones, like, it's cool. It's touching. But for the people that have followed Beyonce from Destiny's Child, it hit me that that's Hove's daughter. I forgot I forgot <laughs> about that whole shit. Hove's daughter is up there busting moves, mm-hmm. looking like him in the face next to the mom mm-hmm. whose whole life has been. In like It's like us. a moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. a moment. When, when it was explained to me from that POV, it was like, oh, I slept on that moment. I slept on that. Like this is Puff like, performing with his kids times true. a gabillion. True, right. And I just thought it should be highlighted because it's important and that's fly. And we don't highlight the good, positive stories that come from music and black entertainment and black culture. I think it should be highlighted that Hove is at every one of them fucking shows. Just Mm. as an onlooker watching in support of, yeah, he's at every one. I ain't know that. Every one. That's dope. Y'all thought he wasn't? Hitting the electric slide. (laughs) Nah, I ain't know he was going to be on tour with her. Damn, I I had a good joke if if I was allowed to joke on Hove. Same. And and you said you didn't think he would. I... Was, if I was a betting man before this was announced, I said, Hope's going to be at every show. I wouldn't have thought that. I, I wouldn't have thought that either. I would have. Well, don't tell us why. I'm not going to tell you why, but it makes sense. Just things I wanted to highlight. Congratulations to Beyonce and everybody that's a part of that tour and performance. Mm-hmm. Y'all going crazy. And shout out to Blue. And shout out to Blue. Shout out to the whole And the whole family. And all them niggas yeah. out there. Shout out oh. to them. 80,000 people. You look, you know my mind going to the numbers. 80,000 people. And that you know they buying merch like Let's crazy. Let's just say $1,000 on, a person. Let's just say $1,000 a person. Fuck. Yes. I should have learned She's how to generating do a lot of money. But little. the overhead of her concert is That's insane. Yeah, it's true. insane. That revenue was different. Yeah. Yeah, Bernice's outfit was insane. I'm sure. I'm positive. <laughs> no, no, they they uh, no, you got to see it. it Turn Houston upside down. <laughs> Turn Houston right up to them. Sure my, my girl thought she said, oh, Benny says you look nice. They all going crazy for her. I didn't really understand that. They was like, all right, Benny's fine. But then when you see what she had on, it's like, oh, you went there and did that. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Mm-hmm. Good mm-hmm. looking girl. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You see it? Mm-hmm. Yep. You see it? Oh. Nice outfit. It is. I see yeah. what you did with the silver. Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh, she yeah. looks great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, she's silver. Yeah, yeah. She's fly. Way, way to rock nice. with the theme. Yeah, way to, you know, yeah. Bernice, we love a theme. We love a good theme. <laughs> we love a theme. <laughs> way to, way to, you know. You look good, Bernice. You <laughs> Keep it up. Yo, you stupid, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I dare him to try to Travis Kelsey. <laughs> Jalen Brown, you try it. <laughs> hey, 
this conversation is going to go a whole different way. <laughs> oh, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. What else we got? No, you smart. No, you smart. You good, nigga. You good. Uh, what else we got that's important? Tory Lanez had a message from jail. Somebody else had a message from jail, too. I didn't. Who else? Oh, I'm so glad you had. Hey, oh, hey, man. we didn't we didn't even plan that man, chemistry. I'm just so th- just threw it I am so glad you asked. Let me hear this. Let me tell you, this horny ass nigga boy. It's my man, but he horny. He horny. Yo, Max. What, what, What's good, Daddy? What female artist you like right now? Hmm. Oh, I love. Working. Shout out to Cardi B. She already know the classics. But we need a first lady on this EMT movement. Looking at some pieces, I see some pieces. I'm loving that spicy ice joint right now. She looking real. What's her name? Ice spice. I'm loving that icy spicy thing right now. She looking real tasty. With that carrot top going on, that top looking like carrot cake. I want a bite. Lose your bite. That nigga is ready. Let's go, Max. <laughs> Max, she is 22, nigga. You've been in there longer than she's been alive. <laughs> Yo, you can't do that, man. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, shit. Fuck it, man. Come Tori on, got man. some uh, alone at prom. Jail Horty's got to be tough. Coming. Jail Horty's got to be tough. Do I want to say this now? I was, yeah, I was about to say something too, but go ahead. You got it. You know why it's tough? To me. <laughs> <clears throat> All you niggas out there that's tough and killers and fighters and boxers and drug dealers and all of this crime that y'all in, right? Why y'all want to be in here? <laughs> Wait. I wonder this when I'm old. I fucked up. But if y'all really that dude, why are you just so comfortable being in there with no pussy moving around? You can't even probably in get a jail? good J in there. Yes. Some of them niggas are smashing the COs. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Some of them and, and, and what else? <laughs> I don't know. What else? <laughs> How do you tell? I, don't, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I know a lot of niggas that smash the seals. Right, okay, okay, but the ones that's not smashing the seals, is they not not smashing nothing. You think? Yeah. Oh, oh, what I, they what they smash? I don't know. Just their hands. You think? Oh, uh, the Susie or Fifi. But the niggas that you know what I mean. <laughs> and that's why it's confusing. <laughs> Fahim, that right there because of you. Fifi and Fahim. Fahim. You why it's confusing? Why? Y'all won't acknowledge the dark side of comedy. Why? <laughs> yeah. why, why, but why the, the dark side? Why we have to acknowledge that? If that's not what we into. Because it's happened. Because that's part of what kept me out of there. Like, oh shit, you know, niggas is niggas is taking your ass. That's what you saying, niggas. No, I'm talking about being anywhere where women are not. Sounds rough. Y'all niggas be rushing to get back there and wear that shit like a stripe of pride, but there's no women. I don't. I don't think it. Yeah, there's some niggas that I like the women feel man. comfortable in jail. I like when women. Some niggas come around. Yeah. Yeah, like yo, you. I don't even yeah. gotta touch them. I like. I just yeah. like looking at them. Mm-hmm. True. Mm-hmm. I just like when they're around. Yeah, they ain't even gotta be the most lookingest type chicks, but Duh. it's a different energy. Yeah, it's low, different. Low, low, low what? hills. Oh, we can get to it. And my question. Oh wait, which one? Simp or the my, other? No, nah, my question. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I, like I like that. that it's a great question. My question was to, to everybody: How do you feel that a person who's representing you or closing a deal for you put? Money on top of your asking price for their personal gain, so they inflate your rate. I love this question. To, so, it's to a really good question. To, well. Yeah, exactly. So, if, if say if my 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 price for a skit is seven thousand, mm-hmm. they may tell the person, "Oh, give me ten. So they can right? get an extra. So they get the extra three. Mm-hmm. I have a problem with. Oh that. wait, they keep the whole extra three. Yes. Oh, that's foul. Yeah, because they. Yeah, yeah because they're probably also taking a cut. Year seven. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but a lot. Yeah, double but, but, but a lot of people mm-hmm. feel like Pause. if I'm getting you your rate, you shouldn't worry what I asked for. This no. Argue, no. People, no. people no. argue that. No. No. Nah, it was a big sleaze. argument in the barbershop about that. Like no. you got your you got your seven, you got your ten. If I asked for twenty, nigga. Uh, th- These are people that are not in that situation. Some of them this, were in this, the situation. There, there's no way. That is so unethical. You I fucking think my pr- you fucking my price yeah. up. Yeah. Because if fuck- that's the case, nigga, and I, I could have got the 10. I, and you're I right. I see you that know, red it's, dot, it's, nigga. It's double dipping. It's <laughs> yeah. double dipping. Get that red dot off me. It's double dipping. 
<laughs> but but there's a lot of people that do that. The uh, the representation that will argue the fact that as long as you get, because I ask you, they ask you, what do you want for this? Mm-hmm. And then give me fifteen. Mm-hmm. So they feel like nigga, if I ask for thirty, thirty, it shouldn't matter. You got your fifteen, but nah, blah, 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 it does no. matter that's to me. Nah, it that matters. matters. That matters. They did a great job of negotiating, but I, yeah. now I want now that, that's my rate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then what if we don't? What if what if you ask for so much, we don't they get the deal? Out. Yeah, you fucked up the deal. Mm-hmm. That too. Is there anyone on the opposing side of this besides me? Ish. Me. I'm with you. It's a few reasons. One, them asking for more increased your rate. Yeah, that's not you, your rate. You you might have been you might have been too conservative. Conservative, doubtful, um, insecure to ask for 30. Mm-hmm. Okay. You asked for 15. Mm-hmm. They got 30. 30 is now your new rate. What if they don't tell you that and just keep exactly. the 15? They're keeping the 15. You, wouldn't know, you, didn't know, you wouldn't know they kept the 15. So then but you don't know what your new rate is. True. I also argue that and, it's and, not your new rate. But he was saying that he knew. So no, 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 no. You, He you, was saying he knew yeah. about that. You so if you know after, about okay. that, then now you know that 30 is your new rate. 25 is your new rate. You get what I'm saying? You was asking for 15. You should have been potentially asking for 25. Mm-hmm. If you're missing a personal game point. Hold, they, they, hold okay, on. Okay, I was just touching on that one piece. Secondly. And pause. Oh, pause. I, I, I'm still thinking, dog, I asked you what you wanted. You fact. said 15. Mm-hmm. I got you what you wanted. We're done here. Now, if the person is representing you and getting a cut of your 15 and then they double dip, I'm not a fan of that. But if I'm hiring you for 15, I don't give a fuck if I get $99 million. I gave you your 15. You should be satisfied. I don't know. But it's, I don't think that that's the that's circumstance facts. he's talking about. He's talking about, like, you're talking about a rep, somebody rep. that you are, like, well, even, rocking even, with. Even, not even, a one-time, even not that, a one-off. Even, let, even, if it, even if it was a one-off, I still think that's, I I mean, still think that's tasteless. I, I mean, think that should be, a, I should know what you out yeah, here you telling should, I'm yeah, being Yeah, you should put me on. Because the, even, if, even if he took the 15 or, or the, the, the 30 or whatever, you don't know who he know. He might have did it and then the conversation going on, yo, this nigga expensive, bro. It cost me 30 to get him. I don't want to do it. Now you turned off the next man. Like, just my thing is, if, if we have a discussion, this is my rate, you going out shopping that as my rate, cool. But you doing your own thing on the side, with, on my name, nah. You're I'm not all, doing, I, you've been around party right, promoters right, for right, a year. Man, you've been me, around party promoters up. for decades. Of course. Yeah. Party promoters book somebody. That particular entity says, yo, I want 10000 to show up. The party promoter now goes and tells somebody else, yeah, such and such want fifteen. dollars hmm They take the five off the top. I've had... Respond Sir, to what he's saying. I'm agreeing that I've known that to happen. I've had people tell me, yo, tell him, yo, my rate is this, but put some extra on you it do and you keep it. You keep, yeah, that's, I've had yeah. them say that. In that instance, I'm cool. I'm cool with that too. But I'm talking about you going behind somebody's back. You're inflating their rate. Now, if you get it, cool. But you could also, like you said, you could price them out. Oh, that's too steep. We don't want to do that. Now you don't cost me money because you were being greedy. You cost me money because we didn't get the deal. That's, that you has never got, cost you, you money because you're the money. at zero. Yeah, you would have never gotten the money. I didn't cost you nothing. You're at zero. You haven't received a mm. dime. You did. You, you you cost me money because... I the, was getting this. They were they would have been cool it. with my rate. That's not true. You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know that. They might not have been cool with the 7000 we're, we're not counting no penny yeah. before it come. It yeah. has to come for you to lose it. True. One. Two, okay. the word rep. What does that mean? What's the rep? Because yeah. that's going that, that that's going to have that a lot to do with manager. This. That's what I said. Manager, agent, manager, agent. If, if it's your manager, if it is your, your publicist, manager, your agent, your agent, or someone that is a part of your day to day dealing, someone that's a part of your team, then yes, that I have matters. a problem that's with. True. That's what I took. With, that's what I took. That's what the I took it as. Was about. Yeah, but rep it. don't say that. Okay. So it is right. A rep don't say that. It could be a middleman that's it representing a, you. Yeah, for a one off. Yeah. It, it. Could be, okay. it could be somebody oh, see, that just know. handles the one off one off deals. And in those instances, he's going to put some tax on it. That's standard. And yeah, that's, he's definitely that's, gonna, but he that's you, understandable. But, but Joe, they put you on it. They put that's tax not, on That's it. not always true at all. That's I mean, it's supposed not, to put you on. I know it's not always true. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to be put on. Well, let's well let's talk about it. Joe Biden's my friend. It's my relationship. Joe Biden's my friend. People have been like, yo, dog, I want Joe to do X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. I might come to Joe and say, yo, such and such wants you to be a, 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 a narrator on his mixtape. Uh-huh. How much would you charge? Host or something. Joe says, I want 20 grand. 
Mm-hmm. I might go back and be like, yo, Joe said he'll do it for 25. Nigga might be like, here you go. I'm going to give Joe 20. Joe's happy with the 20. I take the five. The other person's happy. It's win, win, win all around the board. You don't and think you should let Joe know that you took a cut, though? Not all the time. I mean, Joe, Why my not? man. So I tell him, y'all got the nigga for five. But I, tell I you, don't have man. to be. It's business. Sometimes, sometimes, right, whoever is doing this, they have the Rolodex. These are their relationships. Mm-hmm. They got have it. a pulse. True on what they can and can't get, and this is a flowing business for them, this network of people. True. So this deal for you might not have went through for whatever the reason, but I got 30 other people that I'm funneling through this person. So let me, let me ask you it's not question. only about you. One, hold on, I'm not done. Right, Two, you know, how many, you know how many times the artist wouldn't, the number I'm going to go get, you're not going to get anywhere because that's not your that's number. What mm-hmm. That's what happens. That's what happens. I'm getting this number because it's me. Mm-hmm. This is the the rate that my name and good line of credit on this name bringing you is able to take you from 7 to 12. If I just said 12 on the strength of you, it might not come. But my presence here has a lot to do with whatever I'm asking for, and I'm going to make sure you get whatever you asked me for. You don't have nobody else to ask because you don't know these people. That's what May said. You don't know these people. Also, in the event that somebody's double-dipping, where they're getting a managerial fee from you and they're putting something on the top, sometimes I may not be mad at that. And it has to balance out because millions of times every day, an artist go out there and try to book their own shit around the manager around back, the, around true. the rep back, and true. y'all don't come reporting all the information and y'all damn sure don't pay them or the taxes on it. That's true. So when it come back around the other way, sometimes I'm saying okay. you can't be so mad. I, I, I get that. I see what you, okay, let I get let that. me ask you a question now. So what happens in the event that... Blue Williams that was here. One day I went to him talking about some manager shit. Whatever, he asked me, from the, hey, what's your prices? They always gonna ask what's your prices so they can know if it's worth it for them. Mm-hmm. So whatever I was asking for would never be what he would go to these companies and ask for on the strength of me, not only to build mine and his cachet, but to set a precedent moving forward. Hey, your prices is wrong. You just all wrong. So let me do it. Just trust. But you wouldn't still get your same price that you told him your price was. You never know. But it might not be the full price. So if Joe said, yo, Blue, I want 20. Mm-hmm. And Blue's looking at Joe like, yo, you yo dog, you selling yourself short. Blue go get 40. Mm-hmm. If he comes back and gives Joe 25, 30 grand and he takes the rest, he's doing everybody a service. And did a solid. He looked out. He did a solid. I ain't had to give you that. Nigga, you said you wanted 20. Let me ask y'all a question. Now, you leave him. Let me say this real quick and go ahead. Now, pardon me. You leave that person and get with the person that's true to face value. Whatever is happening is what they come tell you. Got they it. can't get nothing. They can't get nothing shaken. So now you do find the value mm. in mm-hmm. this, this particular be person true. being the one to deliver true. me. Go ahead, Ice. Now, my question is, he gets you to 30. You at the show or whatever. You end up having a conversation with somebody and you find out that 30 it, was paid for you. Exactly. There you go. That's where the problems come from. Do you now go back to that person that booked it and say, hey, yo, yo dogs, uh, I told, they, they told me 30. They paid, me, they paid you 30 for me. Do you say something or no? I would. Yeah. You can question. have that talk I if would. you want to have the talk. I if, and if these conversations does happen. This happens. If he feel like you don't say nothing at all. I don't give a fuck. Really? I, I don't care. Salute. Salute. Bro, I, I really try not to. We, we joke and we laugh and joke a lot. I really try not to pocket watch. Because in pocket watching, you will always be somewhat upset. Mm-hmm. Like anybody that's ever worked for somebody else, bro, there's a pocket. They getting paid off of you. For sure. In any capacity, yes. somebody is making money off of you. That's so, the whole point of hiring people. Yeah, yeah. Or we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like somebody's making money off of you. That is a part of working for somebody else. Yes. I, I, I've been a contractor for 20 years. My electrician comes out and tells me 20 grand to do a house. I don't charge the homeowner 20 grand. I charge the homeowner 27 grand. I charge whatever the fuck I want to put on top of it. That's my money. Mm-hmm. I'm getting a paid a fee to facilitate the electrician doing everything that he's supposed to do. And I also take the liability if the electrician do some fuck shit. I get paid for that. So for the electrician to say, yo, you charge him 28 and you only gave me 20. Your point is what? This is my, you don't know this homeowner. Mm-hmm. I put you on this job. That wouldn't be different though, Ish, yeah. from the situation? That wouldn't be different? No, because I want Flip to do a skit for me. Mm-hmm. Joe, find out how much Flip will charge me. 
It's six grand. Six grand. Joe tells me, Ish, give me 10 grand. Flip knocks the skit out the park. Mm -hmm. I give Joe 10 grand, I'm happy. Joe got his four, he's happy. Flip got his six, he's happy. I don't see where the discrepancy The problem is for Flip, if eventually, if he should be making more money, I I just think there should be a communication there. I I guess I do. I I agree. I do too. That's all. Mm -hmm. But it shouldn't, I'm arguing that saying if we don't have a relationship, and I'm doing one-offs for you. Yeah. Then no, I you. shouldn't. I'm with you 100 percent on the one-offs. Yeah. When he said your rep, I'm thinking like this is your person that's going to They work for you and they get a commission you. Yes. from you anyway. Yeah. Then it could be a, that was, a, yeah. a that definitely was this, a that was where a, we were coming from. Yeah. But like, some niggas will come at that like, yo, you still I, I feel like you know, I, I just feel like it's being to me, and I, I could be unethical. wrong. Unethical and sneaky. I feel like mm-hmm. why you don't just tell me? Hey yo, flip, yo, I'm gonna put on I was just speaking to my man Kirk. He like, yo, flip, they want you to do something in Newark, New Jersey. This guy got a shop. I said, all right, cool. Kirk said on the phone to me. Call me first. Make sure yeah. you are. Kirk, Kirk, Kirk said on the phone to me, um, what's your price? I gave him this. He said, Flip, I'm going to put something on top. I'm fine with that. But mm-hmm. I had situations where when I went to, after business was said and done, I went back to the location a year later. Yo, nigga, that nigga's charged me like 15, Flip. 15? In my head, so now 15. I'm lost. Yeah. What are you talking about, 15? So I have to I have now I have to chalk it up because I don't want to show that there's any chink in my armor. Right, right, right. So I have to chalk it up and in my mind like that's foul because you could have told me. Right. That's how I feel. Tell me. That put sounds me like a one off. I want. I want. And it was that a one. Like somebody it, was doing one off. But it was a one off. Now it's a one. It, it, now it's a no off. Now it's a no off. But <laughs> you're right. It was a one off. But I don't know why I think like that, Joe. I, I mean, I hear what you and Isha saying, and people. That's their arguments. It was if a big a argument. One, They're like, Yo, nigga, I'm a, getting. If it's a one off, because the person's not incentivized to do the right thing long term. They're trying Joe, to get their quick nut. Because the person that's doing the one off feels like. When you argue with them, you don't want to see me eat. Why do you care if I'm giving you your price? Yeah, because that's they, true. That's the argument. You don't want to see me eat, nigga. You're the only one that can eat. But it's like, okay, but I do want to see you eat, but why not tell me? It comes off sneaky to me. To me. I may I be agree. wrong. It's just I like, right now, put, I'm, put I'm, me I'm on, nigga. Like, hey, yo, Flo, I'm, 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 I'm going to get 12. I get 12. Go ahead. Yo, you know what, you know what else is, is funny about this? This is another thing that's never talked about enough. You know just how much information is kept from people like me and you, from the manager and the rep and the agent and the agency. Uh, yeah, I know. It's their, it's their job, kind of, to decide what is to be told so, to but, us and what is to be kept from us. But you, you became comfortable with you have you became comfortable with trusting people to run your business. Some of us are micromanagers, which affects the business, and it takes a while for you to get out of that mentality. It takes a while. Well, that's, yeah. You have to build trust and equity with a person. Like, I'm if you're trusting not you. doing that, then I mean, I'm, I say you're doing crackhead shit. I know I'm offending people out there. True. But if you're no. not doing it like that, you're running a crackhead operation. True. You have to find somebody that you trust in some capacity if you're trying to scale. That, I agree. Now I agree. Before scale I didn't, and, 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 before and, I didn't and, agree, though. And I'm with me, lie. before I even talk about other people, but, putting it totally on me. I wasn't the person that you should have told all the information to when I was an artist. I'm going to go fuck up the deal. I'm going to go act out. I'm going to go not, I'm going to go and carry myself in an unprofessional manner to whereas if you know me and you work with me every day, you know what's going to trigger me, send me off the loop, give me to yell at him, give me to tweet something like, True. like I don't believe uh, talent should be told everything. It's no. not until you get in that executive that up, seat. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they yeah, 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 yeah. Like even look at um, in sports, like, there's a reason why they have agents because they might mm-hmm. tell you some shit for about sure. your performance Same that thing. you don't want to fucking hear. And they but to, said to, that. to keep it, to keep it real, even it's not going to be good for your career. It's that. not going to be good for your mentality. Even even watching how they do business up here, even watching Joe and them, like you know, like I get became more comfortable with Bassy. Yo, you run that because I know I'm gonna react like this. I'm gonna do this. If they say that I'm there, I'm gonna fuck up the whole. Shit. I'm known for fucking up situations. Me personally, mm-hmm. self sabotaging. Nigga, I wear it. Nigga, fuck you. Suck my dick. I don't care. I'll take it. Later, because I'm going to figure it out. But then if you can avoid that, why not avoid it? Mm-hmm. The, but then, old, the older you get, yeah. you want to look to avoid that. And then me, mm-hmm. though, I watch people like Vince McMahon, WWE. Nothing goes past Vince. You see what I'm saying? And that's a successful company. So is Vince an anomaly? Nothing goes past Vince. Vince signs off on everything. The show, he cha- make changes. Every, so Yeah, but you can still have nothing going past you where you still got people still delegated. delegated. He's still people, delegated. Yeah, people delegated that to big, handle certain shit. Yeah, you don't you, get and that. And now, big. once his decision making no, time, people, it makes people, it up the ladder to him. But it, it's a, it's a probably a bunch of shit that don't even make it up to him. Yeah. Like true. The, that's the people that's delegated to handle that is like, yo, we're not even taking this yes, to him. That's true. This is dead. Mm. Damn. I want you to watch the Chris Farley episode of Dark Side of Comedy. Okay. 
How familiar are you with Chris, Chris Farmer? A little bit. I think I was a little bit too, but. I watch Rest it. in peace, Chris Farley. Rest, Rest in peace, peace Chris Farley. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So many people we love. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. Yeah, Yo, I be is this in line with their? Because you said it was who, who's who made Vice. this? Because they had the, the wrestling dark, one. They had dark the dark side, side of the wrestling. Ring. Yeah, dark side of the ring. Vice is who did that. The yes. wrestling one. Yeah, that's just that's amazing. Fire, fire. Vice so is and they now. got another one. Dark side of the two thousands. Mm-hmm, oh, mm-hmm. Wow! But okay. Dark Side of Comedy, I'm la- I'm super late on it. Came out in 2022, and then I heard that Vice went down. And blah, That's what blah, I'm blah. saying. But now I'm down. seeing the coming attractions for season two. That's coming October 17th for Dark Side of Comedy. They got they doing the Ellen. No. They doing they getting. But this first season is some of the best shit I've ever seen. Chris Farley, they did Roseanne, they did. Wow. The nigga from Mad TV, like these niggas was losing it, bugging. Bruh. That's how I felt watching I, the wrestling one. I personally I know. know a bunch of comedians, like, wow. and we we'll, we'll, we we question sometimes like, yo, this dude was mad, mad funny. Mm-hmm. What happened? Yo, they really be fucked up. Mm-hmm. Like a lot, a lot of comedians are heavy, heavy, heavy substance abusers. True. A bunch of them. True. A yeah. bunch of them. Some of the best mm-hmm. are really, really fucked up out here. I highlighted the Chris Farley episode only because. And watching it, his run was so much shorter than I remember just from his name. He like, he was only on... SNL for, like, what, two, three years? Yeah. yeah. But, but in that, he shot up season one, yeah. killed that shit, right? And from there, he had problems that the cast and SNL and the co-founder, I forgot his name. Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels. Lauren, Lauren, Lauren mm-hmm. Michaels. They... They ended up enabling him, but they were trying to help him by continuing to put him on in front. And they, and some of those Saturday Night Live episodes where he was going through it in real time, mm-hmm. and Lauren caught a lot of backlash for even putting this sick man going through it in front of here. Like, because he was nuts. a cash cow. That's why. Lauren. Uh, no, no, Chris, Chris Farley. Farley. He was a cash when you say cow. Because, oh, he was you, a cash about, cow. You talking about inner issues? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. I just oh, they got some. Now. I'm just looking at all of season one. Chris Farley, Andrew Dice Clay, mm. Roseanne, Artie mm. Lange, Richard Pryor. Dice, Dustin, you foul, yo. Dustin Diamond. Oh, you foul. You names foul, out Dice. Your chair, that was foul. Greg Giraldo. Joe, you Brett can't Butler, do that. Man. Freddie Prince. Mm. Maria Bamford. Freddie Prince. Yes, Freddie oh, wow. Prince. That one was great. He shot himself in the head. Rest in peace. But that one was great. He he was uh, the comedian. He's from what in the 70s. Shonda and uh, there was a show. But anyway, he was the first Hispanic comedian to start having these this having this mainstream success, and he had a Laverne sitcom. and Shirley. No, okay. well, he might have featured on there. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but he had a show, mm-hmm. his own shit, Shonda and whatever it is, mm-hmm. where he was killing. And you know what else? All of these shows, but he was sad and he was depressed, and it got crazy. But another thing I noticed with all these comedians, most of them got their break from Johnny Carson. And mm-hmm. the Tonight Show. Mm-hmm. Back in the day. Every right. single one of them that was doing some underground, whatever, they said, and then I went to the Tonight Show. Oh, shit. His child is Fred- Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie mm-hmm. Prince Jr. is his son. Oh. That's well, what I'm Freddie Prince Jr.? I don't know. You know him. He's white, boy, you know. white boys played in mad yeah. movies. Like, mad, you know oh, him, definitely. He's married to Sarah Michelle Geller, Buffy, the Vampire Slayer. You definitely the know him. Series. Wow. You've seen yeah. him in a bunch of movies. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. This Nick. You've seen him. Oh! Yeah. That's his son? That's his son, Freddie Prince. Yo, this should be fucking me up. That Netflix, they got something coming on um, Kadeem Hardison's mom. Oh, who, yeah. Who apparently, you're not well read. No, I'm getting Because you're getting supposed the, to know this I'm getting, one. No, it's I, your I, I, I honestly it's didn't your see. Don't worry, girl. No, fuck that. I didn't oh, see that. This was the fucking hey. pl- this it was the fucking platform to fucking talk about that shit. Now she shit. got a phone. Now she got a no, phone. Now. She got, got a, she got a screen screenshot. Screen. So I'll let you handle shit. it. I'll let you handle it. Since you didn't bring it up, we going on hour number five, seven. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> but, a, but why you bring it up? I didn't even know that that was Kadeem Hardison's mom and how great she was. Beth what Ann she Hardison. Had a, she is a. Oh, now you know her name. I right, do know. You know She's name. a legend in the modeling industry. So why you ain't bringing it up? The documentary is called Invisible Beauty. No, because. Go ahead. Is this really the platform to fucking talk about that? Did yes. I tell you guys when I went to Wait. go see the documentary about Danielle Luna? You go, who the fuck is that bitch? Me, me, me. She is the first black supermodel to cover fucking Vogue. Like, and she, her history has been erased. See, I don't care so about that. These are, two, but these two documentaries <laughs> have come out. And but Kadeem Hardison's mom, to my understanding, is responsible. She for is. Her, her role is a lot larger than first black. No, woman. It, she set the. 
tone back when they, we wasn't allowed to be funny. When they what when it was redlining comedy, she's like the the lineage. The 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 same way we no, she's talk not a about comedian. No fashion. Yes, I'm talking about fashion. You what said you redlining and co- comedy and, and, and stuff fashion. Like I that. meant in fashion. Yeah. I meant just okay. the. The link to pull black people up. Well, and... b- well, before that, she was a model herself. Yeah. But her beauty was not necessarily like, you know, like the... the... Accept it. Yeah, exactly. It was she's she very um, Afrocentric features, and so she was a pioneer. And then she became an agent and the legend oh, that she is. Oh, I read is. up on it. You don't have to tell me. You didn't know. I did know. I'm again. Uh, is what good this is really? If you don't bring it to your platform. Hey, so um, you guys sound like I saw this documentary. It's called Invisible Beauty, and it was about Beth and I, you, you niggas would have been like. Then it's your the job to find. Okay, a, Mel. It's your, then I door. say it is Doof. your job oh, to she find did a, a, she you. a cool way to bring it to, to the platform. Yeah. Okay, well, I was just blown away because, damn, that's Kadeem Hardison's mom. mom. Mm-hmm. Wow, that makes so much sense now. If you just know a little bit about Kadeem Hardison. Like, it made sense. It's all I didn't know. Okay. Well, if you get the opportunity, watch Invisible Beauty. Okay. That's the documentary that is about Beth Ann Hardison. And then if you want to watch something else, watch the documentary about Danielle Luna. It makes sense because it's around the same no, time. No, we're not watching that, though. You should. <laughs> I'm talking yeah. shit. I'm it's talking. on HBO. Max, I'm, you can I'm watch it right now. I'm talking shit. Yeah. Um, all right, what else we got going? Does anybody care about Drake versus Charlemagne? We yeah. haven't talked music at all this entire episode. I saw the post, but I don't, I don't know what the fuck he was. I don't know why. They what did Charlamagne say? Mm. I ain't repeating it. I'm trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he, it's, it. it's whatever he said is not to focus on why this beef is going on. What he said was, "This is unlike a Drake. This is not performing like a Drake record. It's not good. The lyrics they just now talking about two days after it released. That's not like a Drake record. And I thought it would be harder. This shit is called for the dogs. This shit is like kind of slow. It just I don't get it. I don't think it's it. That's what he said. Didn't sound like uh, a diss. It didn't sound like it, no. It was a diss, but it didn't okay. sound like a horrible critique. It was the critique many people had. I'm assuming Drake's issue was you been because Drake did then did like a montage. He did of. Th- horrible things that Charlemagne has said in reference to Drake, and this is dating back to like 2011, mm. where when you look at it that way, it's like, oh, you've been on this nigga's head just gotcha. for a while. Can both things be true, though? They yeah, I've been on your head, but and... this is still a song. This, this song is still trash. Yeah, but, yeah, but I... then I'm not responding to your take of the song being trash. I'm responding to there being, you being on 10 my dick years, for 20 years. Okay. of you being on my dick. Okay. I, th- I think that... um. It's a, it's a hard job what y'all do. Well, now kind of y'all, what, kind yeah, of what well, we do. <laughs> but I, I, you know, I try to stay away from that. But I think that um, if Drake being Drake, uh-huh. you can't deny Drake has had some monumentous moments. So if you're a person that never gives me credit, not saying Charlemagne doesn't, because I don't know, but if you just been shooting at me for the last 10, 15 years, even though I'm one of them then I'm going to have an issue with that. But if you give me props and then you shoot at me, then you give me props, then you shoot at me, I just think that comes along with the job and the territory. Mm-hmm. But if you are the person that never gives me props, then I can definitely see how he would have an issue if that is the, if that is the case. I was home hating. Well, because he ain't shoot at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you give him props. But that's why people don't. So that you oh, can return, so you get the return fire and now ball is in my court. How I want to handle the biggest artist in the world talking to me. And even, no matter if you shitting on me or not, you saying anything about me, just... But is that what we do? Yeah, yeah yo, I ain't fan of that. We as people, we respond to negative things faster than positive. Of course. A negative, a negative response gets... Negativity, a negativity gets much faster. A quicker response than anything positive. Now, I say that as an, an innocent bystander, as an onlooker, right? Because mm-hmm. it didn't feel good when Drake was coming at me. It didn't feel good. Like, I wasn't excited to come in and pod and go rap and, no. Kind of ruined life a little bit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm pod. I'm just talking shit. Uh, all right. <laughs> you want the nigga to shoot at you? No, not today. Uh, not today. I'm cool. You want to see him coming out the water pool? Okay. Oh, you're trying to make a gay joke about me? <laughs> asking a question or so. You just stepped on this gay joke. <laughs> stomped right on that, that shit. <laughs> stomped on that shit. A town stomp. Nigga did the hill and toe. Fuck out of here, nigga. Yo, Bell, tell us about the strike ending. Uh, yeah, so it seems like the WGA strike has reached a tentative deal. 
Thank um, God. Yeah. So it hasn't been formally um, signed off on, but if it is, then that will end the deal. And so things that will return really quickly are... Um, Late night shows. Late night shows. Mm. Those are going to return quicker, but it's going to take a, a while for the machine to kind of get rolling again. But that doesn't mean that um, SAG and AFTRA, are, um, are, their deal's been finalized. They're, they're still going to be striking. I also read that they're, the WGA is striking against video game companies now. Mm-hmm. Why? Because they use actors and writers in video Video games are damn near movies now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh-huh. So if they're not getting their cut of that shit... While we're doing this, let's go ahead and take care of this one. Include so. y'all into it. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Mm-hmm. But I'm glad that that's happening. Yeah. You know I can't see, yo. Pass this talk. <laughs> and we'll just keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody tell you to look. Learn, Pass in the look at you. What? Yeah. I get to look. Look at these guys. All right. <clears throat> well, I'm glad the shows will be coming back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did issue a little um, announcement to the members. Though. They were like, "Hey, don't y'all go back to work. We don't have nothing signed yet. Mm-hmm. Y'all are still striking." Yeah, yeah, that's why tentative yeah, deal. Yeah, they were like, "Look, this is just tentative. Let's wait till we get the ink dry because mm-hmm. shit can blow up at the last minute." Exactly. So it's pretty cool. Glad to hear that the strike will be over though, because you shows is it's rough right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's rough for right shit. <laughs> you shows is rough. Yeah, uh, I meant to do this at the top. Uh, prayers for Crazy Bone, of course. Oh, yes, oh, yes, 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 for sure. Pardon us, Just Crazy Bone. Definitely. Yeah, that's a really sad story. Yeah. Crazy Bone, we love you. We praying for you. Word up, yes, and sir. we need you, man. Definitely. And uh, shout out to his whole his fans, family, loved ones, all of them, his group mates, mm-hmm. everybody, Indeed. everybody. Um. Dragon versus Dragon versus Pitbull, man. The Pitbull? battle we needed. Who? Excuse me. Wait, what? 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 Pitbull? Who's Dragon? Dragon. From they Rough call Rider? me Rough Dragon. Tie the ball up, burn them all. Keep telling y'all Pitbull? about his, his music self. <laughs> no, I know who Dragon is. Oh, you I just said that. it, nigga. All right. Nick, you scared me. I don't Stop. know. Stop. <laughs> I don't know. And Pitbull. Pitbull. Mister Miami Pitbull. Mister Three Hundred Five. Apparently, Pitbull keeps saying that he beat Dragon in a rap battle. Dragon don't like that shit at all. Yes. Is there uh, any? Well, thing? you know, Dragon was battling a lot of niggas back in the days. He was, I know. and his record was flawless. So he keeps saying that you know, he's upset that Pitbull. He addressed Pitbull and niggas. Stop saying you beat me in a rap battle. That's not how it happened. Or come battle me. Or right come now. battle me now today. Or leave your twenty-seven thousand square foot villa in somewhere else to come to uptown. No, he's not uptown. The nigga, come on, that's that's, that's rude. He's I was not, just asking. My man, he's not uptown. That's crazy. No, I was just asking. Are you pulling up Dragon to read it? Uh, I am. I was going to send it to you because I think you'll probably right, put send, a little bit more send it on sauce on, over. on it. Uh, yeah. why, why we say that, I, I mean, it's hard for me to tell Drag that nobody gives a fuck when he gives a fuck. Like, I see how his life could be affected by... Pitbull saying some shit. Niggas in the projects running up the track. Yeah, he lost. He lost a bit. Like, Pitbull just thinking he's saying some shit in the interview. Oh, yeah, nigga, drag on. Life is being affected by what you say. Knock it off. So much so that he had to say something about it 30 years later. And he still sounded like mad. The bad shit. At Pitbull. <laughs> I've been watching you tell lies for over 15 years about how you battled me and won. Crying face, crying face. First off, I was shooting a video with DMX, No Love For Me, and they begged me to come outside to hear you and spit with you. I didn't even want to come out there, and I shouldn't have. (laughs) (laughs) But I did. That was not a battle at all, and you know this. Don't let this nigga Irv Gotti pump you up to get smoked. I don't know why you've been saying you got uh, you. Uh, I don't know why you've been saying you got on through me, because you have been very successful. Very successful. Now, you even added more lies to the story. Uh, I've battled real niggas with real bars, so now you have my undivided attention. So check this out. If you mention my name, oh, this is the Joe Button special right here. If you mention my name <laughs> one more again, one more time, <laughs> in a disrespectful way, you will be my next part forty-seven. 
I will dedicate that one to you and Irv Gotti with no problem. I do not bother no one, but you keep messing with me. Why? I know I'm a bar trophy to some of you rappers. Mm. And before you respond, go watch my other freestyle parts and see if you want this smoke. On my mama, I will smoke you. Uh, Pitbull, I will, I like mixing my, blah, 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 I can't read no more, I've read enough. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Drag on, Pitbull. It's busy. Huh? He's busy. <laughs> I don't think he's coming up for Yeah, he's either. busy eyeing in the suit. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, stop, don't do that to Pitbull. Pitbull used to go, maybe he could have won, maybe he could have won a, a round or two. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm not going to say Pitbull won because Dragon seemed pretty upset about it. But <laughs> I am going to let him know that these kids today don't care, man. That's not enough. These, these kids, mm. they don't care about who won. None of y'all won today. Yeah. Flip, you all right over there? Yeah. Yo, can you stand to- I'm excited. The- Why are you excited? The docket, too. Hey. Uh-oh. 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 Clear Uh-oh. out. Uh-oh. We we, we so. you know well, we clear out. Let me run to the baseline. No 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 no. no, no. I got to run to the baseline with my hands up for the three. Fuck out of here. No, I'm I'm throwing it to you. No, wait, huh? That yeah. is not how Doc is working. Listen, we heard what you niggas saying out there, man. Um, I just want to say this. I feel like it's, it's extremely disrespectful how Joe Button and the Joe Button podcast uh, is being disrespected out there when we were extremely respectful up here to the guest. Um, we had fun, we laughed, we joked. I think it's tasteless, classless. And I think that all it does is, all it does is say what the people are saying about these individuals is true. Um, a phone call sometimes, a phone call most of the times could mend all this out, but everybody chooses to go to the internet. And why? Why do that? Um, Tasha K, you talk about the white man, right? You went to the white man and stuff like that. But when you were up here, Joe showed you love. We all showed you love. While you were saying a lot of funny stuff up here, we gave you the grace and allowed you to speak your piece. All Joe said to me and to us is that I think we have to edit it a little more. Um, and you went out there and, and went loose. And salute. But you can't talk about this black power shit if you just run to the black to the white man, quote, unquote, allegedly, if you run to the white man and use him as a tool to insult black people, it's nasty. It's disgusting. You mentioned it, Melissa Ford. Melissa Ford Harley said two or three words to you and she was extremely respectful. That's nasty. You said that you said I was a bitch. You did say that up here, which was cool, but I don't take it serious because it's content. Um, shout out to you and the young lady that was up here representing. And I still like you and I think that you're a, a unique person. I just think the way you went about it, you're better than that. We sat here, you, you know, you were motivating me when you was talking about the black man and knowing how to move and stuff like that. And the first chance you got is that you went to a white man and allowed him to join you into bashing your fellow black brother over an interview. And you should have just asked him or took your time because from, to my knowledge, all Joe said was, we have to edit it a little more and then we're gonna put it out. And then you jumped out the window. You just shot yourself in the foot. So I do wish the best for you. I think you're dope. I, I, I listen, listen, I followed you and stuff like that. But I just think that you didn't have to go that route, sis. You better than that. Keep it like that. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. It's a nice clean docket there. You got any, anything else? Or that was but, it? No, yeah. I don't want to insult her, man. No, I just meant anybody. Like you got. Um, you, you, usually a docket list? implies there's more than one. Yeah, it's more. It's, it's a list. Nah, nah. So you cool? My man okay. come back. All right. yeah. My man. Oh, so. I had some names I'm about to say. <laughs> I think that was very well worded flip. Yeah, it thank was. you. Well said, well thought out, and I like that. I'm I'm, I'm glad you I like did that. Yeah. I'm glad you did that like that. Because it's really right. Like you see people say shit like the content creator, and you want to come back in here and, and get the content. But sometimes they ain't even about that, right? Like still ain't got no beef with Shorty. But you doing what you're doing. Have a blast. Play with the pigs, might get muddy sometimes. Not saying she's a pig. I'm just saying it's what comes with the territory. That's it. I'm I'm feeling good. I don't have a docket. I don't, I don't have a docket. None at all. But what I you know what I will say, and this is not a, <laughs> this is not docket related. I kind of said something like this similar to her in the text when she hit me after she had went to the internet with all of that craziness that I didn't click on. See, that's the thing. 
I don't click. I don't know what y'all say to these sources, to these outlets, on your live stream, when the fans come tell me. I don't know what you said because I'm a master at not clicking it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you spoke, when I when she hit me, I didn't click none of that shit, right? What I will say, this age we in where people communicate through the internet is goofy to me. Same. Especially mm -hmm. when you have something that's like hurting you or like affecting you or that you want to share or be expressive about and you can't. You just rush to your Insta Live, to Snapchat, to TikTok, to YouTube. Like, I think that this new generation or this new, yeah, this new, new this new wave of people that do that need to find a different way. Nothing I, wrong with the internet. I agree. But we got to find better ways to handle our emotions or shit that we're angry age. about. I think at a certain age. Because the newer generation, this is what they do. I ain't saying age is no, no, no. only because some of these older people ain't never stepped off the porch. Right? No, but so they're learning like these kids no. is learning. Resolution and conversations for us at our age didn't come Should through a, a computer. Mm -hmm. We learned. I, have, I had to speak to somebody. I had to talk to you on the phone. I had to talk to you face to face. It didn't come from a computer. Nowadays, people rush to the internet to express their grievances. And I just think that that's crazy to me. From a certain age group and up, I mean, yeah, they should you know process what I'm better. The younger kids, yeah. that's what they do. Mm -hmm. They go to this immediately. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But for us, yo, we 40. If I if I got your number, I told somebody else that was shooting. I was like, yo, dog, you got my phone number. If you have an issue with me, call me on the phone. Don't put my name on no fucking Instagram post. Like that's goofy shit to me. I think that's important for us to share. So let me share too. Yo, if you got a problem with me and you have my number. Keep that shit to your fucking self, and it's up. It's up when you see me, <laughs> and, that, and that's it. Well, that's it. It just is what it is. If you got a problem, yeah, like I should. What the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> Niggas is fucking stupid. Prayers, love, thoughts, well wishes to all. Right? I don't even pay none of that fucking her going to see itchy and scratchy no mind. You was up here talking about segregation. <laughs> now you running this nigga. Itchy. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Scratchy. Uh, you, yeah, no, he look itchy I, and I, scratchy. He like both of them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> what? what up? Greasy and Do dusty. You, you don't respond to these things, man. It takes. That's why you have six people. You don't respond to these things. But sometimes us being up here and, and asking and having these conversations, it kind of bothers us as a, as a team. Well, me. You know what I mean? Because it's like, I don't remember you saying that. I don't know, like, is it saying a, what? Say I'm not putting the interview out. I don't. I don't remember him saying. I. I, I keep thinking. I went back. Well, you to asked him. me directly on the spot on air on the next episode. How are you putting it out? And I was like, I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, that's what he. Yeah, said. But, that's, what, that's what she told me. Oh, but then when when okay, I and get I it. even said to her, she said that to me. You said you wasn't putting it out. Where you said that publicly in a podcast? No, I responded to a story that was specifically about me on a podcast publicly. It has nothing to do with how I'm moving outside of a podcast. People do that too, right? Like podcasters get to podcasting and now we taking your podcast word as bond. I'm sitting here lying my ass off most of the time. <coughs> Y'all can't take my podcast word as shit. Yeah, but when I asked you also, you, know, you said we have to do a little more editing. It was more editing, that was it. Yeah. But, but listen, great. Sometimes people show their ass in that process. Yep. So while I'm editing, Y'all showing y'all ass. Okay, now I'm not putting this out and I'm not working with y'all no more. The end. It's not worth the risk. Mm -hmm. It's not worth the, the reward. reward. Got it. In, in that aspect. There's no but, beef. But, I don't but, have beef but you're an empath. Do you understand the emotional I standpoint? totally understand because it was okay. a great interview. Got it. So you understand. But that's, to me, that's more yeah, reason. See, see, look. I disagree with that. Me I, too. Because like, yeah. if it was a great interview, I think we built. I'm sorry. Ice. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Cool. Um, I, with, with that being said, the interview was really, really good. It was. Actually, mm -hmm. surprisingly so. We had a great chemistry, all of that. Did. We was laughing and bugging out up here. So my thing would be, and this is, again, goes back to, I think, age and maturity. If I felt that, I would hit you like, yo, dog. I thought we had something fly. Well, that's one way to do Instead it. Instead of going straight to the internet to do the messy shit, I would have called you on the phone and said, And it bothered dog. her because I watched the video. She was emotional, almost emotional. I believe like, that. Yeah, I don't even like how she say nigger. She said it like with the ER, like when some of y'all get flustered, y'all curse bad. No offense. <laughs> like some of y'all should just talk straight when y'all get to cursing. No. Nah. sound like an ER on that. She was tight, tight, tight. Yeah, but to me, I'm like, is she emotional because the interview was good because she has love for Joe? Like, I didn't no, understand. No, she has no love for me. She's no. emotional because when, I tell you, when people go on press runs, they have something that they want to press run. Yeah. Got it. In her case, I assume it was an attempt at humanizing her, which our episode 
would have did the best job done, ever done that. Done that. at humanizing her. No, so when that episode. don't come out, I get the anger and damn, I kind of needed that one. To hit. She went and talked to homeboy. That that wasn't nothing like what we did. Nothing. That my, wasn't nothing my, like my what we thing did. is though, just because you angry, don't give you the right to to, to behave that way. True, you know, but everybody sense. deals with anger differently. But True, you, but, yeah. And, but if, I, you and if I wanted a, to be woman, if I wanted to be humanized, yourself. this is going to work in reverse. Well, in talking to her, you could see that she don't hit all the steps. But Joe, let me, I, I know you. I know you always say, "Flip, yeah, this is yeah. what you do." This is what you do. I didn't want to talk with this girl at all, but somehow uh -huh. here we are. Oh, Joe, do me a tag. What do you do? It's partner, fine. Joe. I'm your man, but sometimes the tag team for me, I'm only speaking about Got for it. me, is not paying it anymore. I just, I just don't like that. Director. Yeah, but so what? But you want people to think these things that you were so nice and you were cool. I mean, we said it was great. Like, where does it turn left? And then I have to question you because as your brother, it's like, okay, I asked you this question on the phone and I asked you on the pod. Like, all right, do you? You said you understand cool. You've also been a man that's been very vocal. I don't think that Cardi B is the reason that you didn't do it. And that's wrong to let people run with that. Because you just said in the same pod, hey, yo, when I say a thousand good things about you and you don't hit me up, don't hit me up when I say one bad thing. That was to that situation. You wasn't kissing ass, so why let that... But the people that believe... Well, flip, the me... people that believe I changed my course of action because of Cardi B are going to think that regardless. Reg and okay. right, what I'll if admit. you don't give a fuck what those people I don't think? Care. I got it, okay. Yeah, I don't care what any of these people think, right? Like, there's some people out there that say I changed my course of action because I want a Cardi B interview. Cardi B has done at least seven interviews in the past two weeks. I've just watched them. I don't want, I don't, I'm not looking for that. If she want to come in and sit here, great. But I'm not looking for a Cardi B interview. That was Kaiser just now calling me. Yo, you want a Cardi B interview? I got to piece it up. And no, I don't. <laughs> piece it up. But I don't want no interview. I don't like that they put that on content creators too, that you'll just, that you flimsy yeah. in your backbone mm -hmm. because you want a story or an interview. Yeah, all y'all niggas can suck my dick. Hey, head. because a lot of them are. Yeah, but Majority them. of them are. That's, true. But them, That's how they play. But them, That's true. cool. I want to always conduct myself in a manner that shows the separation. Exactly. I don't, I don't, I don't no, do I'm that. with you. I'm just saying I don't that. Do the reason why they and put that I on them that, niggas it, on the content If I did that, That's how they behave. this would go out. Yo, in, clo in, in closing on my part, I watched my man um, edit some stuff to sort of push the humanizing um, agenda. Mm -hmm. I watched him. Yo, that, that, that may not sound good. You know, um, that may not look good. So you'll take that part out. Off the strength of her, not off the strength of us. We didn't say nothing crazy. And, and he don't get credit for it. But if I say that, they say I'm on his dick, I'm on his nuts, which is cool. Because I don't really even fuck with him sometimes. But I have to say the truth of what I see. Yo, 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 Parks, take that part out. That part might sound crazy and it may put her in a, in no, a bad light. The interview had the potential to be a problem a repu reputation wise. Yeah. It, uh, it, it could have been a financial problem. It could have been an algorithmic problem. There were 99 problems that the interview could have been before Cardi B got inserted into this. Mm -hmm. Got it. I'm and done. clearly they both are still really passionate about whatever transpired and I was negligent in that. I'm accountable for it. They both are still kind of turned up over it. So not the time to put yourself in, in woman shit when they that turned up. To anybody I did wrong, I apologize. To the rest of you, suck, suck my, my left, dick. yeah, suck my <laughs> fucking left ball, nigga. It's up when you see me. You know what time it is. That's it. Oh my God. Now, what else we got? We got more on the docket. That was like a friendly little. Yeah, that was, that was cool like a docket that. with Grace. Yeah, we gotta give Grace. It was a graceful man. docket. The other, I think the other docket members, we, because we gonna go in. We gonna go in. I'm not going in or no one. Exactly. Sure. If you're not going, I'm not Your going. Your life in. is too good, man. Don't look at me. You know they be going at you. If it don't affect <laughs> yeah. nothing, if, I, if it don't affect they, nothing. They try to take Joe out. Let me just say, they try to take my man out. I know y'all like to hear. They try to take him out. Niggas is coming. Hey, yo, Flip, what up? Yep. They try to take my man out. They try to hit Ish up. I have one request to whoever it is that will do my future doc if it's not me. When you get to the portion showing all the people that have tried to take me out over the years, Please do a reenactment in real time showing what I was doing at the time. Like, that's what I'd be home thinking on the weekends. Like, if these niggas knew what I'd just be home doing and thinking while they kicking my back in, it's not. Like, you would stop. 
You would stop. I'm pouring the fucking lavender Epsom salt in the bathtub. I'm Unbothered, fucking, nigga. Hey, I got my oil. I pull out my little oil thing. Me and my son get to pour in the oil burners in. Oh, I'm, sh- I'm pulling the Glade plugins all around the house. I'm bodying shit while y'all kicking my back. I'm smelling the Glade. Mmm. Some new shit. <laughs> shit vanilla. Hey, this one, huh? yeah, shit, that, shit vanilla. Yeah, I'm mean, into all that domestic shit. You niggas is online yo. fucking being terrorists. Joe, Joe Mother be DMing. I mean, sending me the, the sense. Got them on sale for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> My mom gonna find the sale. And they got the, uh, the shea butter Epsom salt. <sighs> Dog, that's what I was laughing at. Y'all are kicking my back in online. You know where my brain is? I'm at CVS. Get, getting the L'Oreal facial moisturizer shit that now they keep in the glass thing. I'm they keep everything oh, in the glass. Everything yeah. is locked up now. All right, so now right, I, I ain't been in a while. Oh, oh no, I, it's all everything. locked up now. In the burps? Toothpaste? No, here. Deodorant? In the burps? L'Oreal Sloss. facial shit? No, they keep that shit in the glass in the hood. Okay, well, oh, no, in the hood, the whole store is in the glass. In the hood, we yeah, you can't even get a water. I'm talking about <laughs> here, nigga. Really? Yeah, so wait, it gets mm-hmm. dumber. While they kicking my back in online. Let me tell y'all what I'm doing. I'm in front of the L'Oreal glass. There's a button. There's <laughs> a little button, yeah. You can tell me. And why didn't y'all come in here and tell me about this, though? It's been a slow, they've been slowly putting more things in jail. I'm going to fight y'all. The only thing I went to CVS and never bought was lube until I started getting sent to my house, and they wasn't locking that up. I was the only freaky nigga it's locked up there. now. So I pressed the little button. Funny thing, the lube isn't locked up in my um, in my joint. The, the lube ain't locked up over here. Either. Oh, nah. Well, <laughs> and it was just oh. shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> that shit locked up. On the glass, they got the little circle button that says "Call for attendance." Call. Call. So, so I pressed the shit like a dodo. I just press it and I'm standing. Beep. Assistance needed in allergy department. Where I was, it wasn't a burp. It was like. An uh, ambulance was coming, <laughs> <laughs> and then the and then the voice that come on is the overworked girl. One lady on the register, thirty people up there. It's her voice. Hey, can we get some assistance in the L'Oreal skin department? So I stand there. Somebody gotta acknowledge that. Yeah. Okay. Guess what? Nope. <laughs> no. No. Them niggas. They, I start tippy toeing. Maybe they. Maybe they missed me. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Not a thing. So you know what I did? Yelled. Press it again. No, you push it again. Oh. Yeah, you gotta push it again. Like, like, a, like a loser. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> hey, they need attention over there. And finally, I stepped to one of the niggas, grabbed him by the apron. Yo, dog, you gonna bust this shit open or not? He ain't got a key. They got it. some L'Oreal Shea Butter shit I need right here. I got like 90 of them Shea Butter shit. My skin look good? Mm hmm. Thank you, Mel. Yeah, I, I'm, See, they don't have skin regimens, and he don't use Who lotion. Don't? Who don't? And he don't use lotion. Oh, okay. Don't say they. Shut skin, up, nigga. Skin is good. I want to hear about that Invisalign shit you're talking about. Uh, that has nothing to do with skin. See, look. look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you should have told me that. Yeah, it's, t- it's hell. It's you hell should. in the Walgreens. Uh, but that's the what Walgreens I, I didn't know that was going on. Walgreens is ridiculous, crazy, bro. Oh, no. Walgreens the is crazy. The whole store yeah. is on lots of lives. I know Walgreens is crazy. CVS, I didn't know they was getting See, CVS like was locked up before Walgreens for me. I didn't know it, they did that in the burbs. Mm-hmm. In the hood, they got it like that. I ain't know the burgers. I can't even go to the Walgreens in the hood no more. It's it's, it's annoying. Yeah, sure. You're gonna spend more time waiting, and then and it's so bad in the hood now. When you push the button, whatever you get, they're gonna take it to the register. Oh yeah, yeah. You can't even get it. That's yeah. ridiculous. But now you get Treat to the me register. Like a, like look, a man, look, yo. you get no, to the register. Don't you don't know. You don't went to a couple different sections, so they done sat some of your shit here, some of your shit there. Like, I'm good. No, don't. I'm play gonna with go me. a couple towns over. Home, Home Depot doing that. I remember I used to go in there. The Plan B was what I learned was locked up. I that's, was there. Oh, that's right that was behind the, first the one. That was the first one. That was, yeah, that, was plan, yeah. that was the first one to go. Uh, let me see if I have anything else here. I this think is the Plan important. B experts. You see, they're trying to uh, reboot the office. Leave it alone. They are. Uh, Michael Scott it. coming back. The, yeah, the, they, 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 no, they said they don't know what what char- castmates, castmates and characters will be back. Bring okay. it back. I can tell but you the showrunner is behind it. The original showrunner is behind it, so they're figuring out. I don't think any of that. Steve Carell, he's not coming back. I doubt that he's coming mm-hmm. back. Bring it back. He had that. Leave it alone. I'll watch it. 
That shit was great. Yo, speaking of Steve Carell, what I will say is uh, there was some clip that r- went around about the, what's Jennifer Aniston show? The Morning Show. The Morning, the show. morning show. Y'all should watch and that. And that clip looked fire enough to make me watch it. I am going to check it out. The show's fire. I, sh- I have to go back to season one? Yes, yes, you do. You absolutely have to yes, start you season do. one. Yes, you do. Whoa. Sorry, I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm sorry. You no, know, no, show so 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 Come on. No, listen. The show is so good. You have to start it at season one. The show is so good. And it's not even about Jennifer Aniston, even though she's fabulous okay. and won a Golden Globe. Okay, big dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do whatever, whatever you say. Because season three just started, but you have to go back to season one yeah. because Steve Carell is not in season three. We understand. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Very passionate. Jesus. I really like the show. I do too. I'm with her. That show is, that show is amazing. Uh, I got to watch it. There's nothing to watch. So. Really quickly, does anybody have any thoughts on Spotify's usage of AI as it pertains to podcasts? What are they doing now? Uh, they're using AI to translate in over 30 countries or however many countries. And languages. Yeah. To, I'm actually not mad at that. I, I, I like it too. I'm not mad at that. I feel like they stole my, stole my IP. But. Yeah, as, as someone, we've had these conversations internally about how to do this. Yeah, I've had it with them. Yeah. So, well, oh, you. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Direct, directly over there. Oh, yeah, so, in, in 2018. You know what will really blow us up? Probably vous français. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, too much manpower. Mm-hmm. Too expensive. Not doing none of that shit. Well, try to get the AI. Yeah, well, it makes sense. I do appreciate AI is going to be fly in certain the ways way. that is fly. Because imagine that, like, I'm sure with this AI, I don't know if it's there yet, but they could probably use our voices and that's just have doing. us talking that's in French. That's, yeah, what that's, that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. That's fine. That's also the, the fear. That's scary, though. That's, well, that's the With positive. that should come some. I ain't, I ain't saying that, say that, say that shit. They said I Healthy fear. Yeah. Right? With no, the, with some heavy compensation. Yeah. That's, all, mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. all I'm saying. But, I mean, theoretically, well, that's where the fight is. Yeah. Absolutely. One and two, they wasn't compensating us for nothing else. So why would they think they got to compensate oh, us for that? Like, that's scary. <laughs> Especially if it's their content. What right? they said that the, the news this morning said the chat GPT got an update now where you could, this shit could smell. It could <laughs> do mad shit. It could see. It could see, hear. Yeah, yeah, it could different. do something else. Scary, scary times. But think about, like, if I own mm-hmm. your content. Mm-hmm. Let's just say I own your content and I bought your content for X. Mm-hmm. Cool. Perpetuity. But, but now I can take said content that I already own, well, that, add French to it. That, now would have, I could, that would have to be in the language. Or not, because it that, no. that bridge wasn't crossed when y'all first signed the contract. Gotta be in the language, bro. Ain't that one of the arguments with streaming? And a lot of people are getting their shit taken down because of it. Shit gotta be, it's gotta be in there somewhere. In mm. And streaming... If I think I'm talking about the right conversation, like in my contract and Peter Gunn's contract, yeah, that's not a. Let's say it's not addressed. So uh-huh. What is that? So now we have to have a conversation in 2024 when streaming comes up because that wasn't acknowledged. I think what Parks is saying is today that, that they checking all of this stuff. Yeah, because today they write they, they write these language, general but, ass contracts talking about some anything that occurs between the heavens. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in yeah, yeah. the entire so, universe, if and, we. Yeah. In Joe's contract, let's say it's all hypothetical. Let's say Spotify owned your comp. What years were you on Spotify? 2018 to 2020. So 2018 to 2020. Change the game. Let's just. <laughs> what? We changed yeah, the game. That's stuff in the back. Look, so if. It was if, us. We did it. It wasn't just me. If, if, Spotify, I the back. <laughs> if Spotify owned that content, just say they owned it. Now they took that content and added French. That's a whole country of France that they can now market you to. All those back episodes, all that back catalog, Spanish, yeah, mad other you, countries. Yeah. So now, contractually, would they have been legally able to do that? Well, you started this with Spotify owns it, so they can do yeah, whatever they that, want. That's my point. That's what, yeah, if that's they own it, they can do whatever That's my want. point. Park said no. Well, it depend said, on what the... It, it's way too broad, broad of a, okay. a conversation, but gotcha. if you reinterpret yeah. someone's work, that I, I created the work, yeah. mm-hmm. you would have to compensate me in some way to use it again. It's a new license. Even if they owned it. It's like sampling. You can't just yeah. take some shit and do whatever you fucking want with it. No. But if they own 100% of it and your contract has you shit out of luck, mm-hmm. you're shit out of luck probably. If, if, if you're smart like Parks, mm-hmm. then you address language. If you are not smart and someone owns it and you don't address anything, then they are going to do whatever the fuck they gotcha. want. Gotcha. Got yeah. it. Or if you... Maybe you are smart or the language is in the contract and you just don't give a fuck and don't have someone go look at the contract again. They can do whatever they want. They gotcha. might do it and wait to see if you do something about it. Yeah. Your lawyer might have missed fucking paragraph 17C in the 130 page. Like, right? Right. right. Or you may not want to pay your lawyer to go back for some contract that you already spent the money on. Yeah, it can get tricky. 
Yeah. It can get tricky. But uh It's a cash it's a cash cow. Absolutely. I like I like I like some of the positives that yeah. that could come from this year. Um all right, I don't think I parks. Yo. The floor. Oh yeah, go ahead, man. Please, come I don't on. I can't end yeah. the floor yes. is yours. What'd you guys do Sunday? <laughs> How'd your teams do? <laughs> Huh? How'd your teams do? We had first place in our division. So you won? Yeah. What, what My score? team don't even count this year. I hate to see it. My but team they is don't. nobody. They don't count. That game was insane. I wanted to turn the shit off, but I couldn't turn it off. Because my like a team train was wreck. the one. At, at home, Parks is a Miami Dolphins fan. That's correct. Uh, the Dolphins Made beat the, the dog shit out of the Denver Bronco, Denver Broncos. What's bigger than dog shit? By, yeah, yeah, that was elephant shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was like <laughs> his mother's type of shit. the second most points ever, had the most yards ever. Could have could have w- taken the record, but they mercied him on the on the field goal. Would y'all have done it? I'm no. kicking the field goal. I, actually, no. I, I like what he says. He says bad karma to do that shit. I wouldn't have done that. I actually. All right, like let me ask you another question. Would Belichick have done it? Yeah. Yes. Probably. Yeah, all right, go ahead. He don't give a fuck. Yes. He had a fuck on one for a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> like, he don't give a fuck. So they, they, they brought up the fact that um, Denver didn't even interview the coach. Like, just straight disrespected him. Like, eh, fuck out of here. When he was their ball boy, Oh, too. Mike, Mike. And Mike McDaniels, Mike McDaniels. And the Dolphins just, coach. Eh, yeah. Fuck out of here. He was, but he, he took a, it was a long time before he became even a, a assistant. Eligible. But no, they, even an assistant. He he went from Denver to I think Atlanta to Washington to San Francisco to Miami. It was a long journey. But before. they never even interviewed him for the head coach position. Like they dismissed him. Oh, a couple years ago, and they, they said was they would dismiss it. And, yeah. and so now they said that he showed he still showed them grace by not trying to run it up on them and, and break the record on them with the field goal. They were doing whatever they wanted to out there. Yeah, that shit. I never seen no shit like that. That shit looked like that shit looked like uh, BS high. That shit was crazy. <laughs> uh, I had the pleasure of playing against uh, Raheem Mostart in, <laughs> in fantasy. It's just got Raheem, right? I got him. Did you start him? Of course. I mean, don't make that pace. Thing. I got him at Ayuk. But go ahead. Mostart kicked my ass. Way to go, CC Sabathia. Uh, I was trying to get uh, H because I lost um, Nick Chubb, so I had to find someone. I was like, let me take a flyer on the rookie kid, but I didn't. <sighs> Mm. Yeah, uh, Ja Rule had him on the bench. I got most starting. 50 points on the bench. Ke- I got most starting Keenan Allen in all my leagues. They just lost Mike Williams over there. For the, for year. the year. Keenan Allen in all my for leagues. For the year. That should be good for you. You don't say? CC <laughs> Sabathia, Jordan Love, 27 points. Raheem Mostart, 45 points. Justin Jefferson, 30 points. <laughs> Laporta from Detroit, 22 points. Oof. Jacoby Myers, 15 points. Uh, Dallas's kicker, 11 points. Patriot defense, 12 points. All week, Keeb is telling me, oh, yeah, CeCe Sabathia's team is horrible. We're going to run right through him. We don't give a fuck. Ridley didn't show up. Ridley got him seven points. And he beat me 173 to 122. <laughs> the guy that Keeb said, don't worry about. We're going to blow his team out. His team ain't got nobody on that shit. In one of my leagues, that's What's that, 50 points? That's like, that's like a Dolphins game. <laughs> Since we on football and sports Wait I'm not done oh, with him oh, okay I, I'm not done with him Talk to this one Do first. you believe A few questions for you Sure Do you believe This to be sustainable For y'all throughout the season obviously, and, and why Obviously not at that clip But I do believe in Mike McDaniel's Ingenuity as an Offensive coordinator We're already seeing The Rams uh, Sean McVay Try to copy it We're seeing um, some, some schemes That the Jets are doing Trying to copy We're seeing a bunch of people Trying to copy some of the shit He's doing Especially in uh, terms of motion. Wait, we, saw the, we saw the Jets try. <laughs> it's not going to work out over there, obviously. But that whole little uh, that all those guys were crew, all the coaches yeah. that is mentioned. So I do think it's sustainable to a, an extent. Obviously, that was a horrible outing by Denver. I don't think we're going to see no shit like that. If we do, I'm going to be <laughs> insufferable <laughs> on this podcast. But I, I, I do, I do believe in the direction that they're heading. As a team, it's good to see we've had the most mediocre team in the league for the past 20 years trying to hire all these coaches that were terrible. We got a dude that's really good at what he does and seems to be pretty fucking cool, too. And you got Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey's coming back at some point. (laughs) Remember, that was his little shit. Uh, uh, To be more serious, we're early. We're three games in. 
but I've heard all the analysts compare this offense that we've – well, I think statistically this is the greatest offense ever. So right, far, right three now. games, obviously. Three games. Of course, that game skewed things a little bit. Yeah. But how do you think long-term this offense will rank against – that great New England offense, the great Bronco with Peyton when they went crazy. The Rams. And Rams. The Rams. Yeah, yeah the Those shoulder. three. I think it, it, if we're fortunate enough to stay healthy through the year, we will shatter all offense. Well, y'all did that without Waddle. <laughs> yeah, there was no Waddle up No there. Waddle. <laughs> but And the, the scary part with them now is, you know. Is that Waddle wasn't there? <laughs> no. They have a, that, they that, have no, a running game no, to most. Mostert, this is what happens. Mostert, the last couple of years, has been injury prone. Fragile, mm. yeah. They got somebody that they could plug and play that went fucking nuts. They drafted that kid, right? Yeah. From they six, both six, went crazy. A and M, I believe. We've never seen two running backs do that in the same game. We've never seen any of that in any game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right We've never seen you're right. any of yeah, that you're right. in any game where both of them got four touchdowns. Y'all are bugging. Y'all are bugging. Do we have the top six fastest speeds yes, in, the, uh, on NFL. The, in the NFL in like the in, a, in, a, in a single like run? Mm -hmm. And Jalen Ramsey. And Jalen Ramsey's coming back. Tua, so that, Tua, I mean, Tua's doing everything that my everybody at my fantasy draft had Jalen Hurts pegged to do this season. I picked up Hurts. He did it last year, Jalen Hurts. But he did. Tua this year. Well, he didn't do He didn't. Jalen Hurts is a very good quarterback, but they're different skill sets. Yeah, he can't I'm just talking about in talk, terms of fantasy numbers. Yeah, yeah. Like fantasy points. Taking yeah. over the league. He can't throw yeah. the ball like Tua. Yeah. Not even close. It's good to see. I'm, yeah, I'm, I don't. I don't have nothing to say to Bart. I'm, 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 I'm happy to see Tua succeeding because everyone in the world counted him out. I've even seen Keyshawn Johnson come out and be like, "My bad. I don't usually like small quarterbacks. I didn't think this kid was going to make it, but he's the MVP now." And this was before Denver. <laughs> Mel and Flip, let me toss to y'all and talk about like the safety matchup <laughs> in the game. Like, do you, do you think you, they should Pat go three four or four three? <laughs> <laughs> like Patrick Sertain. I think I'm saying that right. That's my man. I still have him as one of the top corners in the he league. Is, he is. He, he is. is. Top three. What happened? He got smoked. What happened? No, he's, he's that dude. Don't he's do that. that oh, you don't believe him to be that no, dude? No, no. Oh, I, you have that's him a, That's I, a Trayvon Diggs uh, tone that he gave us. Nah. Who I think is also one of the top five corners in the league. Why are you talking, I mean, about, somebody why are you talking about somebody that's home? <laughs> Unfortunately. Ish. Fantasy football. I'm saying this in closing because Mel and Flip get all doofy in the face when we let the sports <laughs> run for too long. They sit there looking stupid. The audience can see it. So I'm in closing, in fantasy, you have shitted on me for two weeks in a row. Why? Tell the audience. You That's guessed it. That's what I was it. just getting ready to ask him. You guessed it for me having James mm -hmm. Conner, mm -hmm. Arizona. That's a good player. Yeah, he should. Our argument him. was well, mine was every time that he's been healthy and I, and he and gets busy on my team, he puts up. Yeah, he's never been healthy and not put up. That is for two or three seasons, and he was always great except for that the fact that he was fact. injured. He just gets injured. A he lot. just gets injured a lot. Mm -hmm. And Ish didn't want to hear none of that shit. And I know the Cowboys defense this year is really dumb. So my stupid ass sits Saddle. James Conner because I believe in. I Dallas mean, that's defense. a smart. That's a smart play. I got I got Cook and fucking Bijan Robinson. I thought it was a safe play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I watched the game, and Connor loses his mind. Has twenty points in fantasy. Dallas loses in an upset. Ish in sixty seconds or less. Please speak to your undervaluing of James Connor, what he did versus your team, and how you feel about your team's loss. My team's loss is embarrassing, and we should feel uh, embarrassed. Mm -hmm. as, I, <laughs> as I say and I've been saying with Dallas it's a black, it's fucking Murphy's Law I don't know Murphy Mur whatever, what can, whatever can happen will happen Murphy Lee got a law Murphy, Murphy Brown <laughs> <laughs> what the hook going be Murphy Lee Murphy yeah. Brown um, <laughs> the, the Cowboys will find a way to fuck it up it don't matter if we uh, I say this every time I'm not lying um, well Stephen A says it every time so what 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 Connor didn't go crazy he had 20 in fantasy points that's not going crazy I mean, he did, all right. All right. he did it. Right. He did it. I'll take 20. In fantasy against the number one defense in the world. He had 98 that's yards and a touchdown. That's a good game. He didn't go crazy. But that's a great game against, against the number that one defense. defense. Bro? Yeah, don't do that. If you say so. We do. The Cowboys are just the Cowboys. They they a headache. When it gets hard being a Cowboy fan, it's a headache. My last my last and final question to you. Uh did that game do anything to you in the Philly, San Fran, Dallas watch? No. Because those are the three teams. They are. No. Okay. 
because again, we just played to the level of competition. I think if we played San Fran tomorrow, it would be you a totally up. it would be a totally different team that just played. I'm ready to go put Cardinals. money on San Fran for the whole thing this year. Listen, I, I've I'm joked about San Fran and Miami Super Bowl, but that would be the most entertaining Super Bowl in the world. You got power and strength versus speed, two coaches that know each other's game. If everything stands as it does today in terms of health and rosters, that would be the greatest Super Bowl. I love that we the, could see this year. I love the announcers in the Giants game reminding us every other minute that Brock Purdy makes nine hundred thousand this year. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> and that's the end of our sports segment. Clap it up! <laughs> ah, come on, come on, Mel and Mel and Flip, get over there to the scorers table. <laughs> get to the scorers table. Come back in. Stop looking all sad and depleted. There you go. All right. I'm here. Let's go, yo. Why does it say Ish bringing sexy back on the board? We talked we, about we talked that. About yeah. it. Did I miss that? <laughs> Look, you still Man, you like, well, how can he do it? Oh, oh, Man, you, what how could he even do it? Sorry. Man, what, what, did that, boy yo, do? what did that nigga do to you this weekend? <laughs> what did that nigga do to you this weekend? <laughs> and you know what's so crazy? Uh, crazy. That's why I, Ish, you, you was over there watching me when I asked him. Like, hold on. Ish was watching me when I asked him that question. Are you good? What happened this week? It's like, nigga, you crazy behind the scenes. And see why I asked her? Look what she's saying, nigga. She lost. This nigga got stuck in a trance. I did not. Mel, you can't even imagine why that would need to be <laughs> no, up there, right? No, not, not this weekend. No. Not this no, weekend. No. There ain't nothing just, sexy about this nigga. I didn't make the correlation between us talking about his diet. Because you were talking about no, because and I didn't sexy. I didn't see that it was up on the board up until like maybe like 30 minutes ago. Sorry, my bad. No, Sorry. you don't have to apologize. You make all sense in the world. I get it. Oh, <laughs> listen, ain't nothing big, wrong with what you're saying. Mel. Like, why is that shit on the board? So <laughs> Who had the audacity to put ish and sexy in the same that's sentence hate, that's hate, while that's I got hate. Big Stanley home? Uh, hey, oh God, I'm no. bringing sexy no, back. No, not, not Stanley. Yeah, 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 not, no. not Stanley. Not Stanley. No. No. Chauncey. Chauncey. No. Wasn't it Edric? Edric or some shit? Yeah. Some, no. some whack ass play with Yo, also, yo, uh, uh, Zaire Franklin leading the league in tackles, huh? Come exactly. on. Yeah. Oh, let's go, Zaire. Go Zaire on. Franklin leading the league in tackles. He's killing them. Gardner Minshaw letting Newell win with the rookie boy out. Yeah, Don't man. Don't look now. The Colts ain't as bad as I thought they would be. I'm phony. Zaire came sat here mad times. He bigged them up. I didn't he believe did. not a word of that bullshit. They're not bad. <laughs> They're but then bad. they look good. They're on the and right he, path. And he's losing his mind. And EJ Speed. Hey! Yeah, the two of them. It's the two of them. Yeah, yeah. nah. They, let's go. Check out their trenches show. They going wild. crazy up there, man. Fuck, them going crazy with their show is really pissing me off watching all these, all these other sports football niggas with shows right after the game. Mika Parsons is pissing me off. A few of these niggas is pissing me off. <laughs> Mika, Mika Parsons was funny when he was talking about talking to Tyreek and shit. Oh. I, didn't, I expected him to sound like the biggest, meanest dude in the planet. Because oh, yeah, when no, he plays, he plays like the biggest, meanest dude in the planet. He said he's such a nice dude. Yeah, he sounds he's like the nicest nice guy in the world. On his and you should stop talking to Tyreek Hill if Dobbs did that. And don't do it while you got his jersey hanging up behind you. That was funny. Too. <laughs> <laughs> like, take the jersey down first. Nah, we'll we'll show you him, but I'm him too. Mel, you got simp up here. Why? Oh. What? Was, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, we're getting the fuck out of here, man. If y'all don't find a sleeper, yeah. <laughs> we're just talking away. Patreon. Did you see 320? Patreon. 310. Oh, yeah, yeah. no. Sleepers. No, brought to you by Am. Today's sleeper is brought to you by Am. Brought to you by Am. Brought to you by Am. The good folks at Am. Hey! Nigga trying to steal an Am job. Put me on the Am job. Turn this shit off, goddammit. Huh? I'm just joking. That's what I'll do. Put you on. Yeah, nigga, say that again like that again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you always talk about that. That's my thing to be disrupted, to fuck up the dealer, to make you go crazy, to just totally violate you. Yeah, I said that Put we, me on. <laughs> no, we had oh, a, uh, all right. We had, uh, we had a, we had a crazy, great conversation <laughs> outside. <laughs> Yeah, niggas look at me that's like, my man. Corey, my man, because Corey, Corey, Corey always trying to make Corey always trying to make sense. For, he's the only one. Corey, this is what flipped me. Corey's crazy in the head, man. He tried to make sense of everything I say. Oh, yeah, niggas looking at me like I have seven heads and Parks just minding his business. Yeah. <sighs> All right. That's what I do. Nothing like a 70 point win to fucking distract from Dolphins fans murdering that Patriots fan. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Right? If we forgot. <laughs> right, 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 right. We're on to next week, buddy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, this <laughs> nigga's fucking Parks what? 22. What? Why, why is a Dolphins fan? Holy shit. Do I have to speak oh, for all Dolphins shit. fans, fuckery? 
What, <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> said, we're on wow. to next week. <laughs> hey, no, I feel. Hey, <laughs> you speak for every Giants fan? You speak for every Steelers fan? This season, I don't speak of any Giants fan. <laughs> I'm not speaking Giants at all this Steelers season. Steelers fans ain't killed nobody. <laughs> I bet they did. I'm, we saw y'all. Don't, yeah, don't, y'all did that yeah, shit. Yeah, y'all did that shit. <laughs> For real? Don't group us so with y'all. Okay. Look, he's smiling. <laughs> how, many years, how many years ago was he part? Life was lost. It was three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Not even a full three weeks. No. Somebody died? Mm-hmm. Someone died. They got in a fight at the game, and the dude had some health conditions, and he didn't make it. Rest in peace to that man. Well. Why would you play that at the... <laughs> That's like you it's not like you going to heaven, nigga. That's what you hear when you go to heaven. Why would you play that at the end of that, man? You gotta wait. Nope. All right. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. One, two, two, three. Show enough. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> I really love this part, but don't be the ones that's gonna get me in trouble. Something happened that I missed in this part that I shouldn't have said. Right. I shut the fuck up. Like, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Operary, February. You in text. Like, your uh, feet ain't stopped moving. God you good, damn. Yo. You God damn. You so yo. Canadian, yo. Yo, look. Yeah, look look at our mean? girl, yo. This is my girl, man. Right God, huh? Optember. Nah, we fuck with Mel. We fuck with Mel. We love you, Mel. Yeah, Face I beat right today. Too. Everything. Oh, Jesus Christ. Everything. Shit, shit, all right, right? <laughs> Look, by Viola. <laughs> Ain't no Viola today, nigga. <laughs> Act like you know me. Keep a dollar worth of dimes. No Living easy. I do have a question for you, though. Oh, oh. Jesus. Yes. Yes. <laughs> In closing. <laughs> nope. I'm get my glasses out now. What I have noticed... <laughs> Is that you don't do too many locals since you've been here? Like normally, it's like a flight, mm. whether them here or you there. Mm-hmm. Are you afraid of local love? <laughs> <laughs> no, local love would be hella convenient. Because normally when there's flight time involved, mm-hmm. I often hear about you, I mean, you want a man that's for you, but normally when they live somewhere else and there's a flight involved and a bigger bag you, mm-hmm. they're probably moving and shaking around. That's, you're not worried about none of that? That's hate. A little bit. You ever heard of a sure nice thing? Light, <laughs> Have I ever heard of a sure thing? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, sometimes that's applicable in, in my world too. You think this is a sure? <laughs> this is a sure thing. <laughs> you gonna put your he- your hoodie up too? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> you can burn that, do 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 that. You can bet that right after that park, she coming home to me. Right after that part, Dang she coming God. home to me. What? Ooh. Ooh. Hooks in the back. Wait, you just did the move. <laughs> oh, shy. <laughs> now I'm ending it for real. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this has been a great podcast. Oh, we appreciate all of y'all out there. Shout out to the first and last time listeners. Shout out to the beautiful ladies listening out there. And they go. Again, we want to say congratulations to Usher. Long overdue. Well deserved. Uh, we want to continue to send our prayers, love, and our thoughts to Crazy Bone, his family, his fans, his loved yes, ones. Yes. We want to continue to tell. Get at me, bad girl. Get at me, bad girl. A lot of ugly hoes was rapping when this song was out. This wasn't a, this wasn't applicable to everybody. I keep a dollar worth of dimes. Y'all hold it down, man. To the haters, you already know what it is, man. If it's up, then it's stuck. It go. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arriva Dirty. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. Also, life is a series of moments, and moments pass. So let's be grateful and make this moment last as if it's all we have. Bless you, Parks. And lastly, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. 
Grab you a Tylenol, you might need it. She keep the hypnotic. Oh, that means she's a bird. <laughs> yeah, we don't judge the oh, birds. She was though. fucking with them birds, boy. We don't judge the birds, though. We like the birds. I do. Yeah, we ain't gonna sit here and judge the birds. Uh, nigga, I'm Coco Beware. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no,